Hello, Hello, one and all. Hello. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> Hello. I'm so ready. <laughs> Forgot about We are that. Dice Lore. <laughs> and uh, you've joined us for Thursday's Children, a Vason Mythic Britain and Ireland actual play. Welcome. Uh, this is session one, uh, entitled Norrington Street. Back in session zero, if you joined us for that, um, we created our characters and we did a little bit of play at the end. And um, our players seemed uh, to want to explore the house and grounds a bit more that, uh, that they acquired. So we're not heading straight into the first mystery just yet. We're going to poke around a little and see what we can find. And maybe a thing or two will happen. A um, little bit of housekeeping to take care of first. 
Um, so you all acquired uh, six experience points at the end of the last session. You each have six, and you will find them toward the bottom of your character sheet. There are little circles ticked off for your experience points. Every session of Vasen, you may spend five experience points to upgrade your character. Uh, you can spend five points to um, increase one skill by one point, or you may spend your five points on a new talent, which if you look in the PDFs channel of our Discord, uh, you will find the talents PDF there. Um, now, John, yeah. Emmett rolled as his memento, much to everyone's chagrin, a scruffy cat. Yes. Um, and if, has Emmett bestowed a name upon his scruffy cat? Uh, yes, he's Rufus. Rufus. That's beautiful. Yeah, um, I had to bring that up, Lee? Yes, I did. Very, very scruffy. And a lot of fur. What color is Rufus? Like a mix of dark colors. Like there's a bit of... It looks like a lot of brown, but there's like a lot of black in there. Maybe even a little bit of orange in there, but like mostly pretty dark brown. And does he tend to ride around on Emmett's shoulder? Or does he walk free? Sometimes he appears on my shoulder, and sometimes I lose track of where he went, but he's usually around. Beautiful. Now, as a memento, you can use him once per session to heal to conditions, if you've acquired any conditions. Um, okay. Since he is an animal and is basically a pet, uh, you may notice in the talents, I see your boots, there is a talent called pet. If you buy the pet talent, um, you oh, can use yeah. yeah, you can use the pet once per session to add one die to any roll as long as you can explain how your pet helps you. Okay. Uh, now, I'd like to make an offer to Emmett. Um, you could use Rufus either as a memento or as a pet in a given session, one or the other, not both. or, you could spend your five XP to convert Rufus to a pet and roll a new memento. Or you can just leave things as they are and, and pick up a, another talent or, an exp or a, a skill point as you wish. I'll just wait on that and decide okay. later. Okay. Well, the first thing we're going to do then is have all of you um, spend your five XP because there's no reason to bank them, really. Um, you can only spend you know, acquire one uh, upgrade per session, and it's always going to be 5 XP, so as long as you have at least 5 XP, you might as well perform your upgrade. I will say, if any of you choose to buy the pet talent, um, Chester the Ghost Cat may be in play, if you would like. I'm buying it. So... If <laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't want to start a civil really war contemplating. here. Contemplating. <laughs> I know the two of you were enamored by Chester, um, so I'll let you I figure that out. I already have I literally have him right here. He's with me always. Other people are allowed to have know. cats. If you want the kitty, you can have the kitty. I would not deprive you. I mean, it, I'm sure that I'll be allowed to pet everyone else's cat too. Well, yeah, you can also. Me. Spend your five points to buy your own pet. I uh, no 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 jo co joint ownership of oh well, my god shared custody cats. two Christmases shared just custody two Christmases no, I, for Chester. I also wanted to mention um, you know we performed um, a séance Eden performed a séance last session, which was sort of a freebie séance since you did not choose the medium talent for yourself um, going forward. Someone needs to have a medium talent to perform another set. There's five points for me right there. I'll take the medium talent. Okay. I'll oh, pass as on you're, a cat to be useful. As you're all looking at the talents, you can choose from any archetype or the general talents. You don't have to choose from your own archetype. Um, and I will also say that anytime you perform a seance, if you're going to do that, mm -hmm. um, it is up to you to flavor it however you want. Uh, I was even thinking if you wanted to make a tarot reading or something, I could make the information fit into whatever you reveal. So feel free to flavor things as you like. We are more <laughs> turned her camera off. I'll be right back. <laughs> we um 
we're we're creating this story together. So there's a lot of room for you to flavor things as you wish. So boots, uh, you do want to spend your five points for a pet? Yeah, because I think I love Chester. Then you think you love Chester? If that's what you're going to do, yeah, I love then Chester. Go ahead and untick five of the little circles. Um at the bottom of your character sheet there for XP. There we go. And you'll want to enter the information into uh, the talents field on your character sheet. However, um, you, may did, you may need to jump through a, a hoop or two tonight uh, to acquire Chester, we'll see. It's okay. I, it also, if Chester doesn't want to come with me, that's okay. It's not okay with me. Chester needs to be here and... Well, I'm just going to ask Lee not to toy with my heart, but also I was going to say that I'm actually, uh, John, the way you were describing Rufus, sounds like a tortoise shell cat. Aww. And they're mostly ladies. And they're actually, mostly what? Ladies. Oh. Well, mostly is not all. Just like most orange cats are males, but not all. 80%. Yeah, but like... I'm just being a like hyper <laughs> jerk. You're this also a... might be fiction. Yeah, maybe. What? Look, what? you'll have to remind me with weather like usual, so we can remind you about the cats. Okay, great. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, Amara, is is medium the talent you would like to pick up? Yes, I'm taking medium. I literally okay. ran to the other room because I have tarot cards that are perfect for this. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, yeah. Go ahead and untick um, five XP on your character sheet okay. and add. Uh, medium to your talents mm -hmm. yeah it's kind of similar but probably like more of a darker russet than what it looks oh, okay. like and he's very fluffy like a poof ball. oh good yeah so Excellent. like fluffy. like when i'm looking at these these are all very short hair right but like he's like very good we like a good fluffy cat poof him right like he's he's he shrinks when you pet him because he's so big and fluffy but it's all like just hair so Yep, yep. I don't think I'd recognize October if I put her in the tub. Oh yeah, he'd lose like at least 50% of his mass if he got wet. Any thoughts, Haley? Not a one. It's all <laughs> empty up here. Okay, good. Um, I was... I'm trying to decide... So, Pugless seems like... If I want to like just go well, full on armed old lady, uh, I could get one extra damage when fighting unarmed. Mm -hmm. so then I'd get three damage when I hit people with my purse. <laughs> uh -huh. Or no, sorry. Plus plus three oh, yeah. this roll. Yeah. Plus three dice, right? That's how it works? Mm -hmm. Okay. I just utilize so that I can use my tarot cards for conjuring tricks, too. Oh, beautiful. Because I can use that to manipulate people. Any thoughts, John? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna put a point into the skill. I'm just looking at them, so. I believe I posted skills to the PDF channel too, didn't I? I'm looking at that. You did. Good. Yay, me. Way to go. Thanks. How do you? Shucks. <laughs> we love you, Lee. You're oh, everything. Thanks. I love you guys too. Um. You guys also acquired four development points toward upgrading your house. Um, we're not going to do that tonight, since we're still getting to know the house. But the next session, upgrades might be available to you. That's sick as fuck. <laughs> this game's really cool. It is pretty mm -hmm. cool. They did a nice job. Yeah, I'm just going to tick up my inspiration by one. Okay, that's fine. Then untick your uh, your five... XP, please. At what rate by which might we expect to earn those experience points? Does it just vary end, greatly, or...? At the end of every session, we'll run through those questions. Okay. We did the last time, and I make oh, yes. some new questions uh, as we go. Um, but every time you can answer yes to a question, you get an XP for it. That's very cool. Yeah. Are you still looking, Haley, or do you think that's what you're going to do? I'm still looking. 
Well, I pulled the levers, so that makes sense that you're struggling with a difficult and important choice. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting Herbalist from the Hunter. By utilizing mm -hmm. wild herbs, you can use medicine without having access to medical supplies. It makes sense that Dagmar that would have some... Smart. Yeah, that sounds like Dagmar. Weird herbal yeah, medicine we are, training. We are allowed to take talents from other classes. You are. Bed. Other classes and yeah. uh, the general talents. And I think Dagmar's the only one that has any kind of healing training. You're the only one that took medicine, yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, that's... Or that's the, the I have plus two in medicine. medicine. Oh, I have plus two in medicine. Okay, so you both did. I think it's because we both thought, oh, it's going to be a useful skill for us to have a healer. <laughs> well, but only one of you has bandages. That's what it was. Oh, that's, that's what it was. Yeah, I have bandages. Um... But could I give my ba bandages mm -hmm. to... Sure. Okay. Do you want to split them? That way well, I only have them? one. Mm -hmm. Are you taking a herbalist? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And then I'll give my bandages to... Whose talent was herbalist? It's Hunter. The Hunter. Okay, so... Uh... Amara, if you oh, want to add... Bandage. You can use medicine without having access. So you won't need bandages anymore. That's why I want to give it to... Yeah, that's why I want to give it to Amara's character. Okay. Because she, she'll have the same medicine score. She has the same medicine score, score I do. So, mm -hmm. And then I'll plan on leveling that up. So cool. my tarot cards, do they give me a bonus? No. So okay, I didn't think so. Is, um, you can use observation to perform seances where you predict people blah blah blah. Um, so basically you're going to roll your observation skill um, and if everyone wants to assist you can get up to plus three dice. Okay, I would love for people to assist with that because I do not have a point in my observation yet. Mm -hmm. uh, Lee, I think I might actually take the bookworm. Oh. That's from the academic. I just Weird. get a plus two to learning when I'm looking for clues in books or libraries. That's smart. <laughs> Sounds like some other character I know. Some other nerd. Maybe he rolls better. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. he rolls better. Yeah, for our better. sake. Real same. So everybody's uh, chosen their talent then and removed their XP? Mm -hmm. so um, left with one XP then. Haven't done that last bit. Doing it now. And Pardon me. Your talent into your talent field. Does the... Do the bandages give a bonus? I don't no, know. No, it just works. allows you to use the okay. medicine skill. Yeah. I have the bonus on the crystal ball, so I'm like, okay, what does and doesn't? <laughs> Let me know when everybody's ready with that. And I have the words now. Oh, too. Uh, question, though. Hmm? Um. So it says by utilizing wild herbs. So that means that Dagmar has to go forage for herbs. Or does Dagmar just have herbs? Because she just cool like Since that. you took that as your talent, um, you're going to be able to find wild herbs that you need when you're out there. Now the here's the question. Is there any way that Dagmar could utilize herbs that might be purchased at a market? Yes. There are other ways to acquire the herbs. There you go, Dagmar. We can buy your herbs. And one Don't of the upgrades in the house eventually is like a, a botanical garden. Oh, well, so. Stop it. That's so cool. Maybe that should be... So well, all only... of the, most of the upgrades to the house have prerequ prerequisites as well as a development point cost. So it may take you some time to get there. I played Animal Crossing. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the last session, um, a letter arrived from um, an old Oxford uh, classmate of Emmett's um, requesting Emmett's help uh, with a matter happening in his uh, rural uh, countryside village. A young girl was found dead under mysterious circumstances and other odd things have been happening. Um, we will get to that 
but we're going to put that aside for a bit um, as you explore the house and so forth. Um, so, Boots, if you would like to invite Chester to accompany you, the polite thing to do would probably be to ask him. Hey, I'm going to Chester. assume all of you are in the parlor again. <clears throat> I think that's fair. Mm -hmm. And um, Whitby, the ghost butler, is still standing nearby. The fire is blazing. The, the place has warmed up nicely. And oh, um, Chester is sort of fluctuating in and out of translucence as he sits on the floor grooming himself. What is that sound? Sorry, that's kind I of think Velcro. That's Velcro, sorry. <laughs> I'm refixing something. Oh no, Amara. Oh, you got some carpal stuff going. A little tight. Oh. So. Mm. Gotta stop fighting crime at night, buddy. Anyway, uh, all right. So, um, how long have you been here, Chester? Hmm. Longer than I can probably express to you. Hmm. I think this bunch is going to be kind of rowdy and adventurous. Do you want to? I, I could use a. I could use a cat friend. Would you like to? To. Would you deign to join us on adventures occasionally? Hmm. Interesting invitation. Previous residents of the house have never thought to ask me such. Aww. I well, I mean, say. obviously it's up to you if you would, if we, but I can guarantee lots of pets, and I don't know if you can eat corporeal beings, but if no. you can, like, so much fish. No need. I am intrigued. I am also hyper bound to this property mm. as okay. my bones are interred herein. Excellent. If, however, you were to find said bones and keep them on your person, I believe I would be free to accompany you as I wish. Cat bones, cat bones, cat bones. <laughs> I'm going to say... You're going to need to earn them. Very good. That makes sense. You are a cat. Three riddles might be in order. Like a sphinx. Yeah. Shall we take that route? At your leisure, absolutely. Well, let's begin with this one. Here you will be nourished by what others have prepared. The older it is, the sweeter and richer it may be. And he goes back to grooming himself. Can you say that one more time, Lee? <laughs> Indeed. Here you will be nourished by what others have prepared. The older it is, the sweeter and richer it may be. Okay. I shall think on it and get back to you. Next. Or, or do you need an answer now? At your leisure. Very good. I'm not going anywhere. Vince. What's your character's name? I have her on. Oh, it's Felicia. Hi, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why I pronounce it Felicia. 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 Oh, but I'm already oh yes, Felicia. You said I'm richer good. and sweeter, right? Indeed. Made me think of wine. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. But it's here you are. So would it be a winery? Yeah, I would think so, yeah. 
my I offer uh, uh, folks that I am here uh, to answer any questions you may have. Do you have an answer to the riddle? <laughs> really, it's <laughs> well, cheating to no, ask. Wouldn't wouldn't do. I don't think to give you help in that matter. I don't think Chester would appreciate it much. However, I might say, uh, I've also been here in a very long time, and I think I once knew where his bones was, but I've quite forgotten. That's okay. This place looks like it's prime for exploring, so uh, maybe we'll just happen upon them. Incredibly why don't we unhelpful? Why don't we explore a touch while we think about the answer? Mm-hmm. Is there a basement? Oh, indeed, sir, there is. Quite right, it's in through the kitchen. What about a pantry? Oh, Canada. there's a larder. Indeed, there's a larder in the kitchen as well. If you look on uh, roll 20, you will see the layout of the first floor of the house. Oh, that's right. I am truly awful at riddles. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of is wine. I mean, yeah, when wine older. ages, it becomes like less, it, the tannins kind of get filtered out or however it works. And it tastes yeah, but if better. it gets too old, it I, turns into vinegar. I, uh, I don't drink, but wine doesn't get sweeter as it gets older, right? Yeah, it does. Some of it. Does it? Depends on the wine. It depends on the wine. I, I was thinking, well, I mean, is it the only form of. Is it the only preserved thing that may get sweeter with age? I was thinking of honey. I was about to say, honey is Mead? nourishing too. Well, honey doesn't. Honey is already a preservative in itself, right? Like, it doesn't change on its own. Right? Like, honey can oh, sit for a long food. time and not go bad. And it doesn't, like, change. But it doesn't change flavor. Yeah. Well, and yeah. someone has to prepare it too. Okay, I it need... could be a winery, but that sounds like too easy. It's too easy. Mm-hmm. No. I couldn't guess it that quick, I know me. Chester's tail is flicking with an air of self satisfaction. Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Brett. I love Chester. Yes. I'm looking for my scratch. As it flicks the list to keep him of darkness lift off of it. Okay. So cool. I don't know. The the idea that it may be something related to food might just be misleading. It could be non-literal. One interpretation is uh, can what other rooms are there here? I ask. Are well, sir. Uh, you've got your your four bedrooms upstairs as well as a water closet. Uh, on this floor, we've got. Uh, the parlor which in which you stand uh, we've got a dining room uh, we've got the kitchen and larder and of course the library uh, there is the basement what you mentioned and uh, there's an attic as well oh. I mean it depends on interpretation but one could say that a library could also meet that description to some degree it grows richer and sweeter as it grows older. Yeah, the scent. And it nourishes. Old because if you think of that scent nice. of old books, yes, they do, exactly, but it's a rich, like, ambery vanilla scent. I am trying to remember the details of the riddle again. Cats. The riddle is Here you will be nourished by what others have prepared. The older it is, the sweeter and richer it may be. I don't think the library is a bad guess. It... Because others mm. have prepared it. Yes, but. Mm. It may be something related to the library, but my point was more so that it may be less literal and more of a metaphor or analogy. 
Yeah. You're totally right. There could be many interpretations of how to read into the riddle. I was but not. I don't mind. I. The library might be worth investigating. Ghostcat. Ghostcat. Oh. Ghostcat. Hmm. Can we ask more than answer it more than once? Oh. Sure. I'm not keeping track necessarily. I mean, the point is that you find the bones, right? True. So if we stumble upon the bones first. The only punishment for failing to do so is not having my company. Worse than death. Worse than death. Well, it's not as if I can't spend time with you when we come back. So, worst comes to worst, you're interned here, and I cannot take you on an adventure. Mm. But we'll keep trying. Bully. Are we going to answer with something, since we can do it more than once? I figured we'd just noodle on it and wander around and not worry about answering it immediately, but we can do whatever folks want. I like the idea of noodling. Noodle, 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 noodle. What is noodling? Considering, thinking, contemplating. I've never heard anyone use that phrase before. Well, yeah, I don't know. Something that the rural folks use? Yes. Uh, quaint. Is that a hint of condemnation? <laughs> what? I see we're going to get along famously. I was more making a joke of how anachronistic that term is for the time period. <laughs> You're anachronistic for the time period. <laughs> Look at your microphone. Anachronisms. Left, right, and center. I, I do not know what a microphone is, nor do I have one, and oh I God. am not an anachronism. Were microphones right. invented by then? I feel like they might have. Sure, how did? Yeah, I mean, recordings <laughs> were, were done. Yeah. yeah, there were gramophones and things. Yeah, but I don't think a microphone was like. Prolific. That... No, everybody didn't have one, certainly. Mm -mm. I don't know that. Mm. Well, anyway, all right. Let's choose a direction to explore this house in. Shall we, since we're, we, we seem to have thoroughly explored the parlor, shall we discover the dining room and kitchen? Um, my character is just walking to the library. <laughs> Bye. Uh, I mean, I highly doubt the house is going to jump out and fight us. <clears throat> Why don't we um, explore bedroom options? Oh, okay. That sounds fun. I want to see where I'm staying. Emma has gone to the library? Emma has gone to the library. Okay. Um, the library door um, is right inside the front door. It is closed, but it's not locked. And you open it to find um, a room approximately the size of the parlor um, with a surprising number of books in it for the size of the room. Every wall is a bookcase, and the books go from ceiling to floor. Surprisingly, there, there, there does seem to be um, some room on some shelves to add to the collection. There's some comfortable looking leather furniture. Um, a few chairs uh, surrounding a small table. There's a fireplace that is crackling away as Hob has uh, taken care of warming all of the rooms for you. Mm -hmm. And there's a, there's a pleasant um, mustiness to the air. Uh, you said that the shelves go up to the ceiling. How high is the ceiling, roughly? You've got about a 10-foot ceiling there. Um, there is a stepladder in the corner as well. Oh, the 
This is lovely. And the rest of you went where? Oh, I wanted to go find a bedroom. Okay. Um, going upstairs, I will display the second floor layout for you, although it's the same as the first, pretty much. Um, and that will be preoccupied for the next several hours, unless you need them. <laughs> there are, uh, where did I go? Four bedrooms, um, one in each corner of the house. Um, at the top landing, you've got one of the doors there and um, the water closet and uh, an ordinary closet are at the end of the hall as well as um, another door. Right. Um, I, I, I should uh, let you all know that you, you've got your choice of the uh, of the bedrooms. Uh, you may pick as you like. Dagmar will pick the fourth bedroom. If Dagmar's got four, then I'm going to take three. And uh, we will say, too, that um, in the span of time that you've been there, a mysterious carriage arrived outside, um, bearing your belongings, what belongings you had. And you are free to have them moved in and, you know, decorate your rooms as you like. I pulled Dagmar to the side. Maybe we step into my room or hers. Dagmar. Yes. At this point, is it even worth fighting for the farm? Or should we just let it go? I mean, the sum that we would inherit from Mother is paltry. And if we have a place to live, is it not worth considering maybe not spending about what we might get back on a solicitor to try to fight for it? If we have a place to stay, especially outside of the village. We... we just got here? I'm just saying. <laughs> I understand. I just think it might be better if we waited. If you think she, we should wait and think on it, I mean, you're the grown-up here. How old are you again? I think I'm like 30. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me check. Just checking. <laughs> yeah, I'm 32 years old. <laughs> it's okay, I still feel like a kid when I go in rooms now, so same, same. Yeah. <laughs> I'm my duck age just says mid 60s question mark. <laughs> um You know, back then, uh, if she's 60 years old, um, there's a good chance she doesn't actually know how old she is. Yeah. Oh. Especially with where she's from. Dagmar, do you read? Books? Yes. Cookbooks, yes. Okay. I feel like you would enjoy a novel. What Did Felicia time? go upstairs as well? <laughs> Yes. You're muted, darling. I did. I did. Um, I will. Are you take... are you looking for clues as you go, or are you just? Uh, I'm getting up the stairs, and I'm kind of just taking in the scenery. I know that um, Dagmar and Mara have forgotten your character's name. Eden. Eden Abernethy. Eden have gone into. Bedrooms three and four, I believe. Is that right? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I was, like, <laughs> yeah, I was I'm taken three. by your cat picture or gif you sent. That's reasonable. Um, I will peek my head into bedroom number one and number two. Is there a difference between the two of them? No, they can be decorated as you like. Um, the fireplaces in all four bedrooms are yeah. crackling away, and uh, there's, a, there's a lovely warmth in them. Um, whichever room you choose, um, feel free to describe it 
in any way that you like, you know, you can make yourself at home. Okay. <clears throat> um, I think then that uh, Felicia will uh, move into bedroom number two then. That will leave number one for Emma, who is otherwise occupied. Quite. Is there anything in ter- so so it looks like on the map um there's a closet and then there's a door that says two attics so is that stairs or a ladder it is a somewhat rickety looking set of stairs mm. rather steep i see should i stay upstairs very instead? very cobwebby what's that should i stay upstairs instead In the mm-hmm. attic? No. Yeah. You have a bedroom because you're a person deserving of a bedroom. I don't need all of this space. Lydia's or er, Felicia. I might change it, guys. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Lydia in every game. No <laughs> just shit. Lydia in every game. It's just yeah. every oh, alter version of Lydia. Uh, make my job easier. Um. Her name changes. Just kind She's of pressure sure. tests those stairs. Are they are they stable or are they kind of they're are they so rickety that we don't want to go up them? They're creaky, but they are stable. It, it okay. seems as though no one has trod upon them in quite some time. Seems like an old but sturdy house. And it's magic, so Yeah, you know, that's why I'm kinda of curious to go up the stairs to the attic. You know what? She's gonna do it. Felicia's you gonna could, do it. You could describe Dagmar in that way. Magic stable. <laughs> <old> <laughs> magic. <laughs> what we all hope to aspire to be, right? Right. Um, Young, sturdy, and magic. But yeah, uh, Felicia is gonna is gonna go up into the attic to see what mm-hmm. there is to see. The stairs are, are rather rough hewn. Um, this sort of has an unfinished look to it. But when you make it up to the attic, you find a mostly empty space. There is sort of a rounded window looking out over the back courtyard. And um, there are a lot of cobwebs. There might be like a dress dummy. Um, uh, I was at the room. <laughs> I'll be moving into the attic. <laughs> um, <laughs> that place sounds amazing. No, uh, no crates or boxes or anything. It doesn't look like the previous residents left anything behind in the attic. Mm. Interesting. Does it cover the whole of the house? It seems in, you know, diameter to be um, slightly smaller than the expanded footprint of the house. Okay. You know, so maybe, maybe it would be about the size of the physical portion of the house that you can see from outside, but it's kind of centered in the space that you're aware right. of. Right. Okay. Okay. The the um, the ceilings are peaked, like you, the roof is right yeah. above you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of rafters. Yeah, I think Felicia is just going to make a lap, looking to see if there's anything interesting to okay. see. Would you like to make an observation roll? Sure. He said terrified. Where are we? Where are we? I really forgot Eden was as old as she is. I thought she was like in her early 20s for a little bit. I mean, you can rest on if you want. Observation is down in your skills. Oh, there it is. It should be at the bottom of the skill list too, right? I clicked it. God, I'm an old maid. I'm unmarried it... in my 30s. Oh, and it's Sorry. going to ask Welcome you then if my you world. are adding anything to it. Uh, you yeah, a modifier yeah. that I have. <laughs> hey! Mm-mm. So is that plus two? Sorry. Sorry. No, no, it's it's plus nothing. Just, uh, oh, okay, okay. just go ahead and submit it. Well, no successes there, but honestly... It doesn't look like there's much to be seen anyway. Okay, fair enough. Dude, roll physical dice. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. We're just going to see if Felicia has any 
digital luck and then <laughs> my luck is all digital yeah okay uh she's gonna come back downstairs and peek about bedroom number two see if there's anything you know trapdoors weird carvings ancient sigils love it you're finding nothing out of the ordinary okay well That's you know what fine. I'll let you make a new observation roll for every floor. Is that? That seems nice. I wanna. <laughs> There's a success. So you're looking Appreciate in your. Appreciate the clapping. Um, again, picture. there's a window looking out over the back courtyard. Uh, if you look out the window, you'll see that it is is walled in. It's a nice yard space. There's a large, old maple tree. Um, sort of just off center and under it it looks like there's maybe a bird bath sitting there um, <laughs> there is uh, a little path of um, white round pavers sort of leading through the yard um, in the room you've got your fireplace you've got a lovely large bed um, whatever furniture you choose to place there um small cat statue on the mantle of the fireplace a little porcelain oh. cat statue she definitely walks up to it and investigates it it's small enough that you can hold it in the palm of your hand it's um sort of black porcelain with uh, like gold brushwork mm -hmm. on the eyes and the whiskers Is there anything under it, underneath it? It seems to be hollow. If you turn it over, it's got a hole mm -hmm. in the bottom. Um, mm -hmm. And you can actually see into it if you turn it toward the light. It appears mm -hmm. to be empty. Okay. I'll put it back on the mantle for now. Is there anything else about the mantle that looks interesting? Not that you can tell at this time. Okay. What's Emmett up to? Browsing the what's available, I guess. Uh, He's gotten sucked into a haunted book. Is he perusing the books, or is he looking for something that might be the second clue? Oh, he doesn't care. He doesn't He's care about the cat? The okay. No, okay. he doesn't care about the cat. It's not his problem. That's true. He has the cat. Cat. That's right. <laughs> He just wanted to go to the library. Um, but yeah, no, he's probably looking. He's probably seeing like what uh, titles they have, um, the authors, who's there, anything, what's old, what's new. It's not if filled with, this stuff. with terribly new books. Um, mm -hmm. It's got a lot of very old books. Uh, there's a whole section of uh, atlases and books of maps. Um, there is you know sort of like a, a historical section and a fiction section there's um books about various types of vase and scattered throughout uh, okay. it's a it's a it's an impressive collection but nothing very recent mm -hmm. um the literature that's there i guess like the more of the the non textbooky stuff is it sort of things that he recognizes or is it like a lot more obscure than that there is plenty of obscure stuff there but you recognize a lot of the titles as well having spent time at oxford you're you're very well read okay yeah it's a mix mm -hmm. you think it's going to become very useful to you in investigations going forward does it have like any works of shakespeare in it or is that sure. like absolutely okay So it's very diverse. Very diverse. And there's a lot of books. Mm -hmm. All four walls. Mm -hmm. um, he would probably actually maybe spend some time looking in a in one of the things that pertains to the vase and serve just out of curiosity and then uh, maybe gravitate towards... Um, what was the note said that 
were there hits from the note? Um, it's been in the grips of winter, frost as bitter as those would be very blight in the area. Some creatures, perhaps a wolf, and though none of them has been seen in this part, has been driven to the feed of the livestock. Other strange occurrences have been added to the woes of the local people, and here I talk of a curse I recall you once hinted at some knowledge or resources that could bring unraveling mysteries to the nature. If you... Hmm. So I don't have any, like, particular leads from the letter that we received, but I might start looking into something that may match the descriptions of what sure. they've... Sure, the... Um... In uh, at, below his signature, um, he gives you the the town and the county. Mm -hmm. So you have that. Yeah. So I guess I would just you know see if I can find anything that matches the descriptions or something in that area. It sounds like there's a lot of materials here, even atlases. So sure, make a learning roll. Okay. Uh, where'd my character sheet go? Here it is. And bookworm applies. It does indeed. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to make a learning roll, and I have a two modifier to it. I have two successes. Excellent. You do. You happen to find um, a, a map and a description of, and I don't remember the name of the town. It was... Uh... Oh, from the letter? Yes. Can you... Um, curate of Parish... Curate of the Parish of St. Baron... Mm -hmm. Bergholm near Aaronsbury, Gloucestershire. Gl Gloucestershire. Yes. Gloucestershire. Yes. So you find a fairly detailed map of the area, and that will come into play next session. Okay. But you find a sort of a general description and mm -hmm. um, and some older maps, but mm -hmm. it's definitely in there. But the, like the description we've been given of what happened is too vague to maybe tie to any basin. Indeed. Okay. At this point. Are Eden and Dagmar still commiserating? Um, I would be poking about my room and everything. Mm -hmm. Dagmar would go down and get her bag, which consists of a leather satchel that has been patched up many times over. Surprised that it made it here in one piece. And um, she's going to unpack her belongings and put some I would, on the shelf. I would have probably asked you to grab my stuff when you went down. Of course. Because it would be like a couple carpet bags. Also patch, floral pattern, hand embroidery. Probably inherited, definitely several generations old. Dagmar will go uh, grab her bag and your bags and we'll come up and you'll just be surprised that a woman of this age could carry this much. But I won't. I won't be surprised. No, you Sorry, you wouldn't, <laughs> but onlookers might be. Um, That's why I'm like not even worried about asking Dagmar because she's out here like you would have done it anyway. <laughs> Uh, before she brings it to you, she's gonna go into her room, and she's... I'm assuming Dagmar has a sewing kit. Is that fair to assume? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, before she gives it to you, Dagmar's gonna go into her room with your bag and is going to start, like, patching it again. Of course she is. God, I love Dagmar. More like a mother to me than my own mother. My mother was... Oofta. Oofta. <laughs> Yes, you're all allowed to have any personal belongings you want. They may not come into, uh, you know, mechanical effect at any point, but feel free to flavor. Mm -hmm. Felicia, as you uh, as you turn from replacing the cat statue on the mantel, um, you see Chester apparate in your doorway, a little wisp of smoke, and he sort of devoutly ignores you as he pads through the room, leaps up onto your bed, um, turns in a circle, and begins making biscuits on your comforter. Chester. Ghost biscuits. Um, oh my 
Oh, hello. Mm, not in much of a hurry, are you? Well, I don't know. I've muted myself. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know what the next step is, Chester. I'm just kind of taking it all in, you know? Mm. This is a lot of supernatural things all at once, which I am so excited to be part of, but I don't think I've ever been this deep in before. Understandable. Mm, anything in particular holding you up? Well, I am trying to figure out your riddle. And there are a number of answers. There were thoughts about it that it was a winery, there were thoughts that it was a library. Could even be love. I don't know. Do you do you have any thoughts or feelings that you are interested in sharing with me? Oh, you added that qualifier. Well, you know, I like I like to give cats permission. Hmm. It seems more polite than demanding and having you ignore me. Which I may well do anyway. Uh, yeah, but at least I can tell myself that I it's simply you just choosing an option instead of just ignoring me. I will give you one hint. Oh, yes? Come closer. Scratch behind my ears. <laughs> oh shit, I'm not you said this is the best ever. As you go to scratch behind his ears, though, he makes himself completely transparent and your hand just passes through. <laughs> the hint is keep <laughs> looking. All right. I guess that's it. I will keep looking. <laughs> Gives me unreasonable amounts of dopamine to be talking to a ghost cat right now. Unreasonable. We all need it. Yes. <laughs> Did you know you were going to have the best effect, Lee? Out of I, had, I, 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 I had hoped you would like him. <laughs> I didn't know. Would... Oh, come on, a ghost cat. I like. This is every this is everybody in this room's dream, I'm pretty sure. I don't know about John, but also like everyone else has once or twice dreamed about having a ghost cat. I have enough troubles trying to catch a real cat. I don't need the cat to go intangible in my hands. Oh my god, can you imagine having to take a cat to the vet? They could just <laughs> They be already going, kind like... of do that when you lean down to pet them and they're like, no. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Norm does that a lot. Aww. That's right. So what's the next step? Um, so if I can talk candidly as not Dagmar. Um, I think the keep looking hint means that the answer must be somewhere in the house. Or something yeah, the that's... house features. Is there a garden? Is there, there is a, a courtyard. It's basically a walled in yard in the back. Because Soil, topsoil, could be nourished by other people. Oh, wait, I, and... I think I have a question for Chester. Actually, I don't think that's it, because old soil is generally not that great. Well, yeah. as long as it keeps getting nourished, it actually does get better over time. It's as that's long true. as it's not being depleted, right? Right. The compost? No. Um... Chester, do you know anything about this small cat figurine on the mantle? <sighs> he looks at it and blinks his eyes slowly. No. Okay. Did someone leave it here? He yawns very widely. And then oh. just sort of settle his chin down onto his paw. I see. I see. She's just absentmindedly petting him if he's corporeal enough. But Yes, uh, as as your hand glides along him, um, he becomes corporeal under it and then dissipates again afterwards. So. That sounds like something a cat would do. Um okay. Well while I'm there kind of on the bed, I'm gonna look under the bed. Oh. Nice. Um you've already made your roll, so that counts. Um, there are a few dust bunnies 
under there? Not much else, though. And one very old leather lace-up boot. Hmm. Pull the boot out. Now, how sweet can a boot get? I mean, leather does get better as it gets older. I'm being silly. <laughs> I know you're being silly, but I'm just saying it does. It's quite dusty, this boot. It's, 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 I, I'm, I'm... it's a boot, no. eh? I'm gonna like kind of look at it. And is it is it like a lady's boot or a child's boot? It is a lady's boot. boot. Or... Yes. Lady's boot. Hmm. She kind of dusts it off a little bit. She's not in any particularly meaningful outfit, so she might wipe it so that it looks a little nicer. And then she goes and puts it on the other side of the mantle, across from the cat. Very nice. Um, what kind of a roll could Dagmar make for sewing? <laughs> I don't know that you need to necessarily, but if you That's want true. to... Dagmar's a master at sewing. So never mind. Oh. <laughs> Unless if you, you want, want to... Me to I would call it just a straight precision roll from your attributes. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I got two ones and a five. <laughs> are you doing anything particularly out of the ordinary while you're are you I mean, just you're, 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 you're quite capable at functional sewing. So it's not as though you're failing at sewing. Oh, it's just not pretty, it's I not guess. Not pretty. Okay. That's fair. Dagmar's just not in the mood for all of that today. No embroidery. But Are your hands feeling arthritic? The carriage messed up the bag. It's not my hmm. fault. Maybe one day I'll get a new bag. You deserve a new bag. So do you, Dagmar. So do you. I don't need one. I don't care what you need. I care what you deserve. And you are a queen. And you were so good to me. And that's why you're here. And I did not leave you on that farm. Because you are important. So stop it. Dagmar's going to look away. <laughs> I love Dagmar so much. I would die for her. <laughs> <laughs> You will. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone to my work. I need to finish this bag. Fine. Go play with the others. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> and I go, and I'm like... I just want you guys to know that I go into my room and I immediately am like, needs painted, getting a new quilt. Like, <laughs> there are some updates that need made here, and... I think a mural is definitely needed. Um, so it's a perfectly like fine room too, like well appointed, comfortable, just fine. It's just not to her taste. Very um, she herself is strange and unusual about it. Well, that's um, why you chose the room that's on the side of the house that doesn't seem to actually exist, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the spooky side. That's true, I forgot about that. Lydia! Isn't that the name of the character? Who's Lydia? Oh, no. Felicia? Never mind. No, no. I'm trying to think of Beetlejuice. Oh, yeah, Lydia. Oh, that, that is, is Lydia. Lydia. Yes, what is yes. Lydia? She's got Lydia a Lydia-like disposition. Very good, very good. They're all, Different Lydia. Thing and everyone is named Lydia. <laughs> everyone now. is Lydia. You're just slowly <laughs> escalating into that. Although, honestly, I might. I'm already getting annoyed with, like, such a fussy to say name all the time, so stay tuned for an update. Why don't we just call you Lucy? Mm, well, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it, but thank you for reminding me what, like, a proper nickname would be. Yeah. Um. Philly. You could be Philly. But, yeah, I would... I would poke about in my room, see if there's anything hiding from anyone. Look behind any pictures hanging. Go through the drawers. 
I'm assuming that's an observation roll. <laughs> that's a success. You don't seem to find anything hidden. Okay. Um, on the night table, there is a small book that it, it's more of a almost a pamphlet really um, it's got sort of a paper cover and it's uh, it's binding is just like two single stitches uh, and on the cover it says uh, Nisar N-I-S-S-A-R mm. God I wish I had scratch paper tonight I misplaced my notebook Fortunately, we're, rec we're recording this. This is true. This is true. Hold on, I think Could I you repeat something. it one more time? Nisar. Nisar. N -I -S 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 N-I-S-S-A-R. So like Nissan, but with an yeah. I. Cool. I found something, too. So, Nisar pamphlet? Anything mm -hmm. fun on the inside? Mm hmm. The text of the book reads Some farms have a farmstead, Nisa, N I S S E. You can assume that Nisar is the plural. The Nisa wants what is best for the farm and usually ignores the people living there. He helps with the farm work and often has a favorite horse whose name he braids in a way whose mane he braids in a way that is very difficult to undo. Nisar appear as little old men with long beards, shabby gray clothes, and red hats. They are grumpy, vindictive, and proud. Lazy farmhands and maids are scolded with a hard smack in the face. Nisar expect offerings from the household, such as a bowl of porridge. They are extremely strong, much more so than their appearance would suggest. And you recall that Whitby, when he introduced you, referred to Hob as the house Nisa. Hmm. I make a note. I thought he was always... the... Oh, sorry. I was just going to make a mental note to always leave him a bit of toast from my breakfast as a thank you in my heart. Very wise. There's a Nisa in the Hilda series on Netflix. Haley, is there? Yes. Um, I thought Hob was the keeper of fireplaces. So can fire can Nisas be keepers of the farm and fireplaces? You can assume. So they're like multi-purpose. Kind of... They're not That's like what one basin. Would, would be said he was. So he's kind of like a a, a little Wait, fella, but also kind of like. Whitby is the butler. Hob is told the you that Hob is a Nisa. Okay. Um, it's safe to assume that maybe he's a city Nisa, since you are not living on a farmstead. And I think he would greatly appreciate a piece of your toast every day. Felicia, He'll get as... special stuff on holidays. <laughs> That's awesome. As you yep. are stroking Chester, he <laughs> disapparates and is gone. Oh. Okay. Are well, you still gonna... here or did you did you are you out? No reply. Ah. He left you on red. <laughs> I can't take Chester leaving me on red. But uh yeah, so she... What do, what do we do now? What do we do? Solve this goddamn fucking riddle. <laughs> it's making me mad. I don't well, like it. I think I'll go look down in the courtyard. I mean, there's, there's not a lot going on up in my bedroom now that I've found the boot. So, <laughs> uh... I will... I will Go back and down. Maybe I'll look in the kitchen, because I don't think anybody's been there yet, have they? No. Nope. I'm feeling peckish, so I'll come with you. As you approach the there stairs you. to the send, um, you see before you 
um, a tiny ghost cat butthole descending the stairs. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> ah, there he is. She doesn't say that, that out loud. That means he thinks you're his mom. That's what my daughter would tell you. And at the bottom of the stairs, as you pass the library door, if you peek in, you will see Emmett deeply engrossed in all of the learning surrounding him. Very good, very good. Emmett's a nerd. Yes, accurate. Um, You're going to breeze past him? Ignore him? I Head think, the well, the, if I come down the stairs, do I hit the library before I hit the kitchen? Yeah, let me put that back up. Back to the first floor. Oop. Oh, yeah, I do. Yes. I just kind of peek my head in. Find anything interesting? Sounds like it. Okay. So she continues on to the... Actually, she's going to look in this closet that's right here next to the to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Just out of curiosity. She's, I mean, because she's opening doors. She's just looking around. Sure. Um, it's filled with uh, a couple of brooms, a mop, all right. a pail, all sorts of housekeeping implements. Not very good. Uh, she's going to turn into the kitchen to just see what's there. Did Eden come along as well? Oh, I went straight to the kitchen. Okay. I I was feeling hungry. Okay. Um, you find the kitchen to be a, a very warm, open space. You've got a uh, large, um, deep sink with a water pump. Mm -hmm. You've got a deep fireplace for cooking in. Um, and beside it, um, a good-sized cast iron stove. The stove is hot. Apparently, Hob started the stove up. Uh, there's a kettle on the stove. There are all sorts of pots. Um and cooking implements hanging all about. In the middle of the kitchen, there is a um, sturdy, sort of thick farmhouse table. Beautiful. And around so, the corner, yeah. Oh, I was gonna go hunting for food to make, but I didn't realize you were gonna continue describing, mm -hmm. so ignore me. Around the corner, in the larder, um, you notice there are some stocks of, of dry goods, like things that, um, probably could stay for quite a while without needing to be preserved. Uh, salt, oatmeal, rice, things of that nature. And at the back of the larder is uh, the door, presumably to the basement, as would be described. Perfect. So I'm going to start by making myself some oatmeal and a cup of tea mm -hmm. and I'm going to put in a little measuring cup a little bit of tea and a little portion of oatmeal and I'm going to take him over to the hearth and I'm going to offer him to hob wow. and then I'm going to go back and have my breakfast even though I have no idea what time it is it's evening it's evening it's after, oh after yeah supper. so that's it's Brunner we love it um so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go poke around the basement once I'm all, like, full and washed my mm -hmm. dishes up. There isn't an excessive amount of food there. There's, there, as I said, a, a fair amount of dry goods, but you're definitely going to have to stock the larder yourselves. Oh, that's fine. Um, no. mm -hmm. So is the basement just more dry goods then? Is uh, Felicia coming along? Or are you perusing the kitchen? As soon as I... I, I looked through the kitchen and kind of just assessed what was there. Maybe got a glass of water. Yeah. Um, wait, sorry, I didn't know you wanted any. Or if you wanted oh, any. Oh, no, so no, I no. Didn't... I'm good. I'm good. Okay. 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 Um, have you been in the basement yet? No, I've just been having some food before I went down. If it's our house, right. I'm making myself comfortable. That's good of you. It's hard for me to settle down. But if you're off to the library next, uh, or the, the basement, I'd be happy to join you. Okay. Let's go through. Might I, I say, have, Mom, uh... Oh, yep. Before you descend, uh, I, I am quite pleased to see that you have figured out uh, that Ob likes to have uh, little gifts left for him. Uh, you're going to keep him quite happy, uh, which is a good thing hereabouts, because 
Uh, he does a lot of good work for us. Hob's my new guy. I love Hob. I gotta look up whatever this thing is. The Nisai. So, descending the stairs to the basement, again, we have some rough-hewn uh, wooden stairs, but sturdy. A little creaky, but sturdy. Um, you find a dirt floor basement, and um, immediately at the bottom of the stairs, uh, you've got some, some sel- shelving, sort of a, a fruit cellar area, uh, with some preserves on the shelves. Um, you've got... Uh, another area that leads into that looks like a couple of very small almost apartments like little bedroom type areas um, as though perhaps at one time they were house servant quarters this sounds like an excellent place to do a tarot reading there is also um, a sort of window well toward the front of the house that is uh, is letting in some street light from without, and you find a coal chute in the wall. Cool. The cast iron door shut. Is it big enough for a body? It is. Guys, I found a slide. <laughs> so. Yeah, if it's the servant quarters, then it's probably been a lot of people who have come and gone through there. It's probably been some deaths in there. Just a lot of energy in there. I feel like this would be a good place to do a little bit of getting in touch with anybody who might have lived here previously. I'm Mm, specifically looking, A, to see if anybody has an answer for this riddle. And B, to see if anybody has any backstory on the house. Are those reasonable requests? Those are reasonable requests. Okay. Do you want to help me, um, not Lydia? Felicia? Yes. Yes, I would. So I believe it's an observation roll, and that's going to be a plus one to your roll. Beautiful. Do I roll or or Amara's first roll? It's uh, just Amara. Okay. Oh, come on. Sorry, finding with my keyboard. It's okay. Oh damn. Are you um trying to perform just a standard sounds here, or are you going to use your cards? I was going to use my cards. You are allowed to push a roll. Okay, how do I do that? Um, well, you can re-roll. Okay. But um, it's going to cost you a condition. Condition well, it would just be the first condition on your sheet. Um, it would be a mental condition. So you would be angry. Okay. I'd be grumpy that I had to work hard for it. And it would um, be a minus one to your roll. So you would no longer get uh, the assist from Felicia. Um, I'm not in the mood to be angry right now. I've had too much good food. So I'll pass on it now and try again in a different room. Might I say, Mum? Uh, yeah, if you if, if you if you do have questions, I'll, I'm at your service. I've I've lived here quite some time. And I always. You don't, you don't need to summon me again. You know what? That's a wonderful point, and I always feel bad because I don't want to like bother you. Oh no, Mum! I, I live to service why I'm here. Well, in that case, as a manner of speaking, it... of course. Well, of course, you're being deserving of respect and entitled to your time. Is there any way you can give us a proper... I appreciate that, sir. Is there any way that you can give us a proper tour of the house with some history? Right, so, as I think you probably already know, this house has been the headquarters of the society for, Mm -hmm. well, well over 200 years now. Wait, pause. Can you tell us about the society? Because I don't know much about the society. Right, well... They've been folks like yourselves, uh, able to see the basin and interact with them. Uh, 
as most normal folks. What part, begging your pardon with the word normal, but as most folk can. Uh, they have existed for as long as anyone can probably remember. And of course, there's folks with this ability all over the place, right? But the society in particular has been here in London, uh, except for the last, what's it been, 30 years now, right? Um, they have always uh, sought to sort of keep things even between the Vasin world and the mortal world. Because, you know, not all Vasin is evil, of course. Uh, many of them is helpful, as you're finding. Uh, many of them is just mischievous, and many of them is just uh, threatened by the encroachment of mankind, right? Reasonable. Well, thank you for that information. That is incredibly useful. Um, so, let's go on then about the tour of the house. Very good. Well, I think you've pretty much seen it all at this point. Although this house is quite, quite peculiar, as you've noticed. Um, rooms often pop up come and go uh, we've had many different sorts of areas to the house all through the years and who knows maybe uh, maybe it will continue to grow while you're here and some uh, rooms that ain't here right now will be here later and but I think the how... only room you ain't been in yet is the dining room and it's just you know your standard dining room mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do you have any particular area where house animals may have been buried? Well, right, that goes to uh, Chester's uh, little riddle for you. Well, um, as I said, I'm sure I knew at one time. Mm, fair. I know that you wouldn't want to bother Chester. I'm just curious in general. I didn't know if he would be buried out there specifically or not because he sounded particularly mysterious about it. He seems like he would be often an exception to a rule. Well, well I I mean, maybe if I'm be being honest, I think he's playing a bit of a game with you. Well, he did give us a riddle. It wouldn't surprise me. He is a cat. They're quite right. playful. Right, right. Uh, if I had to venture a guess, I would say maybe the gentleman's got the right idea. Oh, in the library. That does sound... He, he has learned. He would have good ideas, wouldn't he? Um, well, in that case, uh, Felicia, would you like to accompany me back to the library? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. This has been very informative, though. Thank yes, you so much. Yes, thank you so much. Well, it's a pleasure to have someone to talk to again. Oh, absolutely. If you ever want to chat, I'm always open. Hobbs devilish hard to have a conversation with. And, you know, Chester comes and goes as he likes. And, well, Shackleford don't make many appearances at all. Does Shackleford like anything? If we put something out for him? No, what what, what Shackleford likes is uh, driving off um, nasty facing if they should happen to come about. Other right. than that, uh, he pretty much just, to be honest, I don't know where it goes. He just does <laughs> Shackleford things. Yes. Good old Rusty. So do you head back up to the library then? Dagmar still in her room? Um, Dagmar has fallen asleep. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, sewing. I love Dagmar so much. While sewing? Mm -hmm. um, how do Eden and Felicia find Emmett in the library? Then? It's probably sitting in a, one of the chairs. Cats might be sitting on the top. The chair just behind him, kind of snoozing, and he's probably just in a book. Well, then that's where you find Emmett. Find any particularly interesting books, Emmett? Hmm? Oh, what? Did you find anything particularly interesting among the books? Oh. Lisa's just walking around the room. 
as as this talking is happening. Are this... you sorry, go ahead. Uh this one's a bit dull. It's mostly just an atlas and was reading of the area from the letter. It's a lot of information about the weather there, but did find some maps. If we want to go there. Good to know. Weather's always important. Know how to dress. No, it's more for farming. Oh, that's a different kind of important, but it wouldn't really serve us. Yes, it's frightfully I... interesting. <sighs> I'm going to take the opportunity while we talk to walk around the room and look for a copy of Weathering Heights. Oh. Okay, make a learning roll. Yeah, and despite what he said, he's already back in the book, not paying you any attention the minute you stop engaging. That's reasonable. So do I type in manually the modifier? To learn? When you click the button, you should yeah. get the whole thing that pops up. Yeah if, yeah, if you have a modifier, you would type it in. Okay, so like I have a but one just... next to my learning. Okay, so no, that's going to roll the die for you. It's going to add that die to the related okay. uh, attribute. Ah, you do find Wuthering Heights. Nice. All right. I well, I settled it. Is it already Tennessee. written then? I don't know when it was written. Oh, shoot. When is this set again? What is it? How's it? Um, Wuthering Heights? 1800s, like 1888-ish. Wuthering Heights? Yeah, it Wuthering. was released 1847. 1847. There you go. Yes, yeah, you I can lovely... totally read Wuthering Heights. Nice. First edition. Beautiful. That's one of my all-time favorite books. It just seems appropriate in a library in a house like this. Felicia, as you are walking about, are you looking for anything that might jump out at you as potentially a clue? I'm looking for... I'm, I'm perusing the book titles, but also looking to see if there are any are there any interruptions in the books are there any is there any art or or yeah, statuary there are some empty, tapestries empty spaces in the shelves the shelves aren't completely filled um so there are some you know statues yeah. and um items and so forth yeah i'm also looking i'm looking at the dust to see if things have been recently moved or not or if there's you know you know how when, if it's a dusty bookshelf, if you pull the book out, there's something left from it. If it's in dusty. In other areas of the house, the library seems to have been very well tended to. And okay. it is not dusty. Very good. Um, all right. In that case, I'm just looking to see what else is in there besides books. And also looking at books to see if, you know, because she's so interested in the Vassin, she would be perusing the to see if there are books or or materials on them yeah. also I'm you not to be too metagamey but you can always ask me to look too because this is my particularly adept. that is fair that is fair you're a book dude like, I, I i think i rolled eight dice the last time i rolled so right. either Good if you're know. if you're going to look by yourself you need to make an observation roll or you can ask your friends for help Okay. Um, I've forgotten John's character's name. Emmett. Emmett, like the otter. Right. Um, Emmett, have you... What? What's your assessment of this library? What have we got in here? There is a lot of everything. Are you looking for something specific? I suppose more information on Vass and other supernatural things, but just wondered what well, your again. general... If you're more specific, uh, there is a lot of tomes and texts here about various facing. I've already tried identifying or finding some clues, but I turned up with nothing um, regarding the letter that I mentioned before. But was there something specific you're looking for? I, I've already flipped through various tomes. I can, I might be able to narrow it down. Nothing at the moment, but thank you. I just wondered if, if, to what degree was this like a supernatural library versus a classic library. Do you know what I mean? It has everything. Over there, mm -hmm. pure fiction. There's a, I think I counted all the works of Shakespeare up on the top shelf. Uh, below there, there was, there was even some tomes from Doyle 
before he started writing Sherlock. Um, on that side, uh, mostly there's a whole shelf there for atlases, so that's where I pulled this one from. Uh, underneath mm -hmm. that, you can see that that shelf seems to most well everything underneath that. A lot of text about various supernatural things. I think I saw something referring to the cult, old religions, um, Vason specifically. The, the, there are several tomes right. specifically devoted to certain types of Vason, even some from other lands. I noticed there was one talking about the Orient and fascinating. Very good. That's very cool. I hear this and I hop up and I start perusing the fiction like, I found all the works of Austin. <laughs> I just double checked it would have yeah. all been out by then. Okay. Yes, it even goes back further. There I think there was a collection of Homer. My word. Oh, amazing. Is it all in the native tongue or is it legible to us? Oh yes, it was translated. That's even better. I think that there was so even cool. a copy of it in Latin. But my Latin is a bit shoddy, so Felicia, based on a question that you asked me when you came into the library, um, do make me an observation roll, please. Okay. Man. You might want to... We're going to switch to... Physical to... Dice. Yeah, switch to dice. Okay, I yeah. have a question. Hmm. If I ask John to help me find books on things that I am already skilled in or want to learn about, would that help me in any way? Because I am sure that there are books about conjuring tricks and doing medium work and using tarot cards and stuff. Like, they gotta be out there. It could be helpful. If that's a way that you want to prepare at the beginning of a mystery, um, that could add um, dice to your role. Okay. Yeah, okay. potentially. You, it would it would give you um, like a bonus to add one time during the mystery. Okay, I didn't know if it would help me in like an experience at points if I set aside time before bed each night to like study. Well, that is something that you can. Um, you uh, what, what is it called? The uh, advantages. I forgot about every mystery you get to proclaim an advantage at the beginning. So that could be one, for example. I study to get better at this. And then that could provide you um, with a bonus die at that time when, when you go to uh, make that test. Mm -hmm. And like, if she's looking for a book, can I make the check to find the book? Mm -hmm. Yes, if they ask for help, yes. I would I be asking for help. Would I get an extra bonus dice if they're helping me find the book? Yes, you can always, if, if your friends are helping you do something, you can always get up to three bonus dice, depending on how many people are helping. Okay, well, if I'm if I'm making a learning check relating to books, I'm rolling eight dice, so. You've already made one learning check for the library, so you don't necessarily yeah. need to make another to look for more books. But I think yeah, you, I'm, your I'm check was specific to books at that time, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, like, in general, right? Like, I'm quite loaded when it comes to books. So, I mean, I did just take the talent to give me plus two in that specifically, so. And if Please anybody see. helps me, that goes up to, like, potentially yep. 11 dice. Right. Yeah, exactly. no, I'll help. Specifically Please looking see. for relevant, too. Oh, are you looking for something specific now? Or do you just I'm not. I'm, I'm looking future? at the well, art, I'm and I'm looking at the... I'm yeah, oh. I wanted to have basically anything I could in regards to my talents so that I had them on hand ready to study in the okay. evenings in my room. Yeah, Emmett would have certainly recognized things well, to that effect already. What what talents are we talking about? Conjuring tricks and working as a medium, namely with crystal balls. Um, so when you say and... conjuring tricks, do you mean sleight of hand or literal yes. conjuration? Sleight of hand? Yes. Sleight of hand. It's a manipulation thing. Oh, I will have let you know there was far less of the sleight of hand and trickery. But there's some. There's a lot more of the 
a cultish nature. Well, I mean, both would probably be useful. Um, but like you, of, of the occult's nature, what were you looking for specifically? I was specifically looking for books on divination, especially using tools like pendulums, crystal balls, tarot cards. I oh, yes, have a bit of that. Um, here's a here's one a study of seances, but also um, perfect. Yes, an older absolutely. tome. I think it's this one's been partially translated. Um, a lot of it is in Latin, but this one is of divination. Uh, I did see that there were some notes in the covering, so you should be able to follow along. But it may be a bit hard to grok because it's not the best translation from what I gathered. But I would need a little help understanding the Latin, anyhow. Well, I mean, the, the, there's notes in the book. Someone's been mm -hmm. translating some parts of it, but it's not complete, and it's um, more of a supplement to the coal book, I suppose, but I don't know why I'm making this more difficult than I am. <laughs> what about um, specifically on tarot cards? Like, there's got to be... There's got to be books on commonly used divination tools in a place like this. Oh, the tarot specifically. I think there is uh, yeah. three separate books. This one was a bit more interesting. This one's a lot more of a technical aspect in the history of the tarot. Um, not any of the fantastical element, but there was uh, one here talking about how to do divination, as you say, through reading and how to interpret signs and the meaning into them. I suppose this is probably what you're more interested in. I'll take them both. She's interested, so just because she hasn't had access to college doesn't mean that she doesn't want to learn. Like, I, I just want to, like, lay that out in regards to she is going to be a voracious reader now that she has access to books. Mm -hmm. Yes, but the, 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 the former book, when I, it, it's more of a history. It's of how the, how yeah. auto cards started. It's useful. It's, oh, yes, it's all useful. I'm just... Oh, it sounded like we were trying to... Never mind. I misunderstood. Just ignore me. Continue. So having found these books, um, if you want to use that as your advantage on a given adventure, you can say that you have been studying these books voraciously. Okay. And that will add that advantage for you. Now, Felicia, you said you're looking at the art? Yeah. You do notice in, in the spaces uh, here and there, there are little, you know... Like, bronze busts of uh, mm -hmm. different figures and um, some curious pieces. One catches your eye, though. It um, appears to be cast iron. <clears throat> it is triangular, sort of like uh, at an angle. Um, and it appears to have um, a spike at the bottom centered on it. And the words on it say, Take me home. And it will be time. And the word time is in all capitals. So like a pyramid with a spike coming out of it? Or No, it, it, it almost looks like um, like a, a, a draftsman's um, triangle. Or, oh, oh, okay. or the dial of a sundial. Gotcha. And then it has a spike. Is like it laying vertically or bottom. flat? It's sort okay. of angled. It's laying like like oh, against oh, oh, the I back see. of the shelf sort of like in an angle. gotcha gotcha so so it looks it looks kind of like kind of like that yep that's it okay and where are the words on it um they're just along the bottom side okay and what did it say again take me home take yeah. me home and it will be time and the word time is all capitals Okay. Weird triangle sculpture. Like a, tri yeah. a draftsman triangle like this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Huh. A draftsman. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Emmett, what do you make of this? Of what? The and triangle? She, she, she picks it up and kind of turns it over, looks to see if there's. Is it heavy? Yes, it's cast iron. It is cast iron, okay. So it's a, Are we it's talking a big like, triangle? 
Like that, or or bigger? Uh, I would say bigger. Okay, so more like that. Yeah, yeah. Large enough to stab someone with if necessary. Okay, got it. Um, like the center okay. is is cut out, right? Just like the draft. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you could you could yeah. probably like put your face through it. Okay. Oh, like the jaws of a lion. Um, is there anything else written on it? Written on the back? Anything? No. Okay. I bring it over to Emmett. Uh, so you said the the text of the triangle. Take me home, and it will be time. Yes. Mm-hmm. I believe that's a triangle. Very good. We've established a well-established fact. Hmm. Triangles are well-established, yes. What's your... Really? What? I was just wondering what? if you had any thoughts on it. That's all. Uh, if you don't. I'm not sure the context of the triangle at all, so... What's the What's the housekeeper's name again? Whitby? Whitby. Whitby, are you around somewhere? <laughs> yes, ma'am. No, nope, sorry, ma'am. So Didn't mean is, to startle you. No, no, no. Is that a good is that a good way to ask for your attention or Oh yeah, whatever you please, ma'am. Okay, alright, just checking. Just want to make sure that I'm not, you know, I'm always on causing call. you to apparate inconveniently. Not at all, not at all. Feels good to be seen again. <laughs> um do you know what, anything about this curious item? Oh, right, well, well it, it looks like it's, it's a part of the sundial. Oh! Is there a sundial somewhere in the house? Right, well, it wouldn't be much use in the house, if you beg my pardon. Fair enough, it was here in the library, though, so I wasn't sure. Hmm, curious, not sure what it's doing there. Right, well, no, I would... Sundial I'd, in the garden? I'd put it in the courtyard if it were me. Okay. I think I might go see about that. So she's going to take that piece and... Sure. I'm going to go outside, y'all. Does anybody want to come? Uh, no, I'm going to stay buried in my books. Okay. All right. So she just... So so that's where, that's where okay. Alicia is going. Straight back the hallway toward the back of the house, you see the back door. And it opens into the courtyard, just as you observed from your bedroom window. Um, uh, you know, stone wall around the outside, the large maple right in the center. And um, the uh, the round pavers lead from the back step um, straight past what appeared from above to be a bird bath beside the, uh, the tree. But it's not a bird bath. If you choose to examine it, uh, you will oh, see yes. at its center, um, there is a hole. Oh. The center of the platform. She kind of looks around, sort of conspiratorially. Sees if anybody's about or around or if there's ominous gatherings of any kind. But um, what else? Oh. Before I do that, though, what else is in the courtyard is there anything else i mean is it or, or is it basically just kind of a plain plot with no in a corner close to the house there is a small wooden shed mm. other than that um you know along the the edges of the wall there's um there's sort of a like a, a dirt area there's no grass there but there's uh, okay. there are plants growing here and there of various sorts Gotcha. Okay. Decorative. Um, I think nature. she's going to. She's holding the triangle piece, but she's gonna go peek into the wooden shed first before she she places the sundial back together. Mm -hmm. It is filled with uh, gardening implements, rakes, right. small shovels. Eighteen hundreds pinup of a lady advertising a truck. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Snap on okay. tools calendar, yeah. Exa perfect, exactly. Um, it's like ye snappeth on tools or something. Like exactly. That, um, okay. 
Uh, cool. So she's gonna go back to the sundial and she's gonna she's gonna put that gonna put that there. The spike slides perfectly into the hole, and mm -hmm. as it slides into place, um, it begins to turn slowly on its own. And as it does, um, the Roman numerals of the clock sort of apparate on the surface of the platform. Mm -hmm. And Chester appears at your feet. Well, it certainly took you long enough to get two thirds of the way, didn't it? Well, I like to take my time. I'm sure cats know something about the lackadaisical approach. He stands up and begins to rub a figure eight around your ankles. <laughs> so, um, one. two yeah, thirds of the way, eh? Two thirds of the way. Are you two ready for the, the way to what? Final clear. Well, yes. To me, of course. Oh, very good. <clears throat> yes. The last riddle is I have energy to share with you. If there is no life in me, destroy me and take it now. If there is life in me, let it destroy me and take it later. What am I? What was the last line of that? If there is life, it, it's if there is no if life in me. If there is life in me. Shall I start over? Yes, please. I have energy to share with you. Mm -hmm. If there is no life in me, destroy me and take it now. If there is life in me, let it destroy me and take it later. What am I? Battery? <laughs> a what? Battery. It doesn't feel like a cat riddle to me. I'm unfamiliar. I think That's it's okay. something related to fire. Hmm. Is it a match? Is it a what? A match? A match. Probably not. I'm terrible at these riddles, Chester. I'm sorry, I must be a disappointment. Not at all, you're quite amusing. As long as I'm keeping what, you entertained. What do you... What do you set on fire with the intent of collecting from it afterwards? Is there something that you burn and then, like, you're trying to get what the end result is? Meat. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just, like, no, it's brainstorming cool. ideas, right? Because it has energy, and if it has life, which in this thought is flame, you have to wait for it to burn itself out. If it doesn't, you set it aflame, right? Can you say the, can you go through the one more time, Lee? I have energy to share with you. Yes. If there is no life in me, destroy me and take it now. If there is life in me, let it destroy me and take it later. Dagmar's still sleeping, Hilly? Uh, yeah. Okay. So I guess I shouldn't be talking. <laughs> All right, Chester. Uh, maybe she'll wake up. I think she's been asleep for a while. Well, what do you what do you make of this? Do you have any additional? Hints or clues, or, or are you gonna let us stew for a bit, and then maybe if I scratch behind your ears, you might help me out a little more. She crouches down and scratches his ears. If he allows it, <laughs> very good. Let me think about it. Okay, let me think about your riddle. Do you know anything about this? Uh, the sundial that appears to be somewhat haunted. Mm, I suppose a hint's in order at this point. Look about. That's it? For now. 
Very good. Don't mind if I do. Is the sundial pointing in any particular direction now? It is still sort of just lazily turning. Oh. Is there anything changing about it, or is it just turning? It's just turning. Okay. Well, she's going to look around more, then. What are you going to look at? Going to look closer at... She's going to maybe do another lap around the courtyard. She's going to look at the... Well, first she's going to examine the sundial now that it is complete. Mm -hmm. What's... Is there anything else written on it? Is it... No, it appears to be a mundane sundial other than the fact that the enumeration appeared suddenly, which now appears to be actually carved into the base. Okay. And the fact that it is moving on its own. It's not doing much else, though. Okay. Eden? She's going to do a another lap. She might look back up at the house from the farthest point to see if there's anything unusual about the house itself from the back. From the back of the courtyard, um, the spreading maple obscures the house. Ah. And Dagmar okay. has so called being... for Eden. We'll come back. My ears are burning. I better go upstairs. Eden? I go up with this, like, stack of books that I'm lugging to put on my nightstand. Hi. Hi. (laughs) I have some books. You want to come with? I just, like, nudge my door open with my foot. Never fully closed it so I could get back in easily. Mm-hmm. Push my way through, set my books down on my bed. How'd you sleep? <laughs> it, it was a nice nap. Do you like your your lodgings? Are you comfortable? It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Um, Eden. Yes. Why are you so interested in reading all of a sudden? Because I've never had access to books before now like this. And look at what they're about. Are you sure you're not having feelings for that Emmett boy? Oh god, no. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) I'm so sorry, John. It's so like that. I love you. <laughs> it's not her type. He's a boy. Mm. She's totally a lesbian. Like, why do you think that she's single? That's fair. Me That's too. fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're about <laughs> all of these practices that she's like familiar with, and yeah. Tarot and divination and sleight of hand and I'm learning things, okay? <laughs> it's useful. But that's good. I'm glad you're learning things. Your <laughs> mother would be proud of you. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> Great woman. Yeah. Till she went and drowned. Yeah, awful business, that. Mm -hmm. Uh, You doing okay? I mean, it's been a bit of a whirlwind, but they have a copy of Wuthering Heights, and I didn't bring it with me, and that was like my, one of the only books that I ever had growing up, and I loved it, and they have one here. And also, all the Jane Austen borrow books from my friend and she had those and yeah I have no idea what you're talking about but (laughs) I trust you are enjoying them I am 
enjoying them very much. I didn't mean to make you feel suspicious. No, no. Your bag is fixed, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Are you Mars. hungry? I was about to ask if you were hungry. I am hungry. I was going to make something. Would you like something? I would always like something. Should I just make a pot of something? Is there food? There's food. Uh, let me take you down to the ladder, Mars. All right. So we go on downstairs after I set my books down and my bag down. Okay. As you head to the kitchen, um, Felicia Chester has accompanied you to the back of the courtyard. And he sits beside you, sort of following your gaze. And he says, Felicia, what is it that you see? Well, I see a maple. Hmm. I see the house behind it. The stairs what? and the door I came out of. What about the maple might be helpful here? Hmm. What could be... Maple syrup. Oh shit, I'm not in the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, maples have syrup in them. Sam. But, but that seems very sticky for a cat to even bother with. Mm, yes. Are you buried under the tree? What might be in the maple that a cat would bother with? Hmm. Mm birds perhaps reconsider the riddle you can rail mode me truster it's okay from that <laughs> perspective <laughs> think about what you just said and reconsider the riddle If there is no life in me, destroy me and take it now. There if there good. is life in me, yeah. let it destroy me and take it later. Logs. Is it is it the the wood itself of the tree? Is it a tree? Uncharacteristic a tree? for a cat, he goes. <sighs> Oh, I've seen my cat do that several times. We've all seen our cats do that. <laughs> Felicia. I'm not a bright... Uh, what? Um, my spin? I'm an investigator. <laughs> what? Weren't you like a detective? Might be in the maple. That oh, would well, be private eye is good at noticing things. To a cat. Okay. Not riddles. What might be interesting to a cat? In a maple, you've said maple. it already. You've already said it. Oh. The wood, the tree, the... The tree? There's the tree. What might be in a tree that would be interesting to Leaves. a cat? Leaves? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Laura's gonna die. She's gonna kill me. Oh god, you guys, I can't handle this right now. Let's just pretend I said the answer, Chester. You did Can say it. That? You already said it. You said a bird. Oh, you said perhaps, and then acted like you were so exasperated. All right, yeah. so it's a bird. Is that I'm right? always exasperated. Well, yes, that's cat's nature. But now I said I consider the riddle from that perspective. If you're thinking about a bird, that what doesn't... might or might not have life within it that could share its energy with you? An egg? Chester, you've caught me on a real rough day. Indeed. I'm open to questions, no. other people. There's no need to consider further. You've solved it. Okay. Now go get the egg. 
Okay. Is it in the tree? I would assume. <laughs> That's good of you to assume, but I just got here. Is he it like the, the middle tree. of the night? It's like eight. <laughs> <laughs> Just wondering. <laughs> that was... Oh my okay. god, that was painful. So she walks up to the tree. She looks in the tree. Do we see a nest anywhere? Please don't make me roll. I won't make you roll. <laughs> <laughs> the branches are low enough that you can actually pull yourself into the lower ones. And there is indeed a nest cradled in the fork of a branch. In the nest, you find a piece of one of the round stone pavers that make a oh. path through the yard. Chester, did you put this up here? She takes it and gets down. Mm, how would I put that there? You know, you tell me, my friend. I don't know how you knew this was even up there, but someone must have put it up there for you for you to lead me on this merry face. <laughs> she walks well, over to the broken stone. We're almost finished. So looking around, you do find a broken stone in the back corner of the yard against the wall. Mm -hmm. It's The stone is complete except for that missing piece. And she puts it back. Very nice. It fits, doesn't it? Quite. Hmm. What do you suppose is under the stone? Is it you? <laughs> it may well be. So what I don't know is would you like me to dig you up or would you or, or is there more? I really it, if you it's... would if you would still like me to accompany you then you're going to need to take my bones with you otherwise I'm bound yeah. to this property. Yeah. I, I understand this. I want to make sure that you are all good with this or if you're more interested in just toying with me as you would a mouse. Because I can tolerate that. But I need to know if you want to join me on adventures or just stay where you are. You're quite amusing to me, and I would very much like to accompany you. Very good. Are you under this stone? I am indeed. Very good. <laughs> and I shall try to as cleanly and respectfully lift the stone off. Sure. Is it under dirt, or is it... Yeah, no, you're going to have to dig into the dirt. Now, there were gardening okay. implements in the shed. So yeah, it's so I, I, will, I, I am a capable enough human that I can gently unearth. What, what, what sort of reliquary are his bones in? Or are they just in the ground? A good couple of feet down, uh, you find a dark wooden box that appears very, very old. But it is still intact. And opening What's it... it made out of? Um, it is made out of some sort of a hard black wood. Oh, okay. Oh, there you are. And opening it, you find in a little velvet cradled compartment inside the very aged bones of a cat. Some of them Hooray. appear to have been broken. Oh. Yes, well, I was run over by a carriage in life. That's so rude! Well, it happens fairly frequently around here. I don't like it for you. It was a very long time. Is it alright if I pick you up? Yes, please. Take them with you. Okay. And she gathers them up in a... probably in the velvet that's there. I do apologize for the merry chase. But... It's alright. You're a cat. I understand. It's been some time since I've had the opportunity to toy with humans. I'm sure it was delicious. It was quite delightful, yes, but I'm yours now. Well, I apologize for, for snapping at you. Just a lot happening, but as I'm very excited to have a talking cat as a companion. I shouldn't have hissed. It's okay. We were both frustrated. I get it. She's still, like, crouching, and so she, she pets him. He scrambles up and sits on your shoulders. Oh much, my god, I'm good. As Rufus cry. did to Emmett. 
His oh, tail wraps excellent. around, um, trailing little wisps of shadow, and starts oh smacking gosh. you in the face. Delightful. Chester, it's taste? wonderful to have your company. So if you go back into the house, then you will find um, Eden and uh, Dagmar sharing a meal in the kitchen. Dagmar is making the meal. I'll be chattering at Dagmar about who knows what. Something yes. mundane. Probably how I want to change my room. Oh. I found well. Chester's bones. Oh. Why? How will you carry them? Well, I suppose that I will... Gosh, I haven't even unpacked. I barely know what I'm doing with myself, but... Um, Dagmar, would you be able to help me make, like, a little satchel for them to stay securely in? Uh, ouch. Can I? Eden? Cucumber. Sure. I've just asked Dagmar if she can help me with this, and she asked you, Eden, I think. Oh, you did? Absolutely. Dagmar, you are a free woman. My mother is dead. <laughs> Please do not speak of your mother in such a rude tone. She was a rude woman. Very good. Mm. All right, well, I'm going to go take these very precious bones and put them up in my room where they will be safe. Do you have any fabric I can start with? I don't have any spare. No, I know, I don't either. Um... Wait, let's ask the butler. Oh yeah, Whitby? Yes, yeah, hmm? Um, is there any spare fabric or old clothing that we might be able to turn into wraps of some kind? Well, old bedspreads, maybe? Sure, I imagine there is. Probably in, uh, in the wardrobes in your one of your bedrooms or all of the bedrooms, perhaps. There's some, uh, maybe some old clothing, uh, some old bed sheets and so forth. I'm sure you can scrunch okay. it whatever you need. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Dagmar's moment, gonna walk upstairs, and, but never mind. As you do, um, you hear a bell jingling. And hmm. Whitby says, Oh, wait, well, that would be the front pool bell. Sound like someone's outside. Dagmar grabs her purse. I love Dagmar so much. Felicia is still doing her thing. She doesn't care about the front door. Dagmar is walking to the front door. Mm -hmm. I walk. Are we expecting just anyone? Ahead of Dagmar. What was the question? I just said, are we expecting it? Hmm. Uh, uh, begging your pardon before you open the door. Uh, the previous residents uh, would always, uh, when entertaining uh, company, uh, slide the pocket door shut uh, to the parlor so as not to have to answer any questions about that. Mmm. I see. She'll close it. As you slide them shut, um, they actually blend in perfectly with the wall of the hallway. If you look out um, strange through the it's front window, uh, you see uh, a young woman on the steps, um, sort of um, huddled with a, a shawl around her, um, shivering a bit in the cold and looking a bit uncertain. Is there one of those like latch things? Eye slats? Sure. Dagmar will aggressively open it. Oh, yes? Goodness. Uh, begging your pardon, ma'am. Um, are you are you the new resident of the house here? I am a servant of the residence, yes. Well, it's been a very long time since anyone's been here, but I, I, I saw you uh, moving in, and I, I was wondering if I could speak to you folk, perhaps. One moment. <laughs> Somebody get Emmett. Hmm, I'm right there. The door's open. Oh, I can see what's well, going on. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, there's a gal in the door here who is trying to speak with us as we are the new residents and she saw us moving in. Felicia is coming back downstairs. Mm. 
catching convenient. up. I'm saying, which is why I thought I'd call you forth to see what you thought. Did I she just say think anything else on the matter? Did she say what she wished to speak on? No. No. Should we speak to her on the porch? Oh, I'll send it again. Do you, do you recognize her, Whitby? What is the meaning for your visit? What is the discussion Whit- you are hoping to have? Whitby seems to have made himself scarce. Ah, okay. Um. Well, I was, I was wondering if you beg my pardon, if I might inquire if um, you folk yeah, have know. the same sort of uh, occupation as, as those who have was said to have lived here in the past. What? And did if we do? Those... Are you those... all speaking through the slab in the door? <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Quiet. No. <laughs> Her shoulders slump. Oh my god. Why are we yeah. like this? He turns away death. uncertainly. Mars, I love you. <laughs> oh, here, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, D- Dagmar, excuse me, Dagmar. <laughs> He's, Felicia's pushing past and, like, opens the door, steps out of the house, and then, you know, closes the door. Not fully, but at least so she's not having to talk through, like, a slot in the door. <laughs> So what what was the nature of the folks who were here before? Um, well, my my mother used to tell me stories about how they would investigate strange occurrences and help people. Well, I certainly, if not the other folks in the house, do enjoy helping people. What what's do do you want to tell me more about your your problem? Grievances, well, challenges. I, I, I live down the street, um, just on the other side, um, with my grandmother and my daughter. She appears mm-hmm. to be in her in her late twenties, probably. And mm-hmm. um, yes. well, it's a lot, but we've been having occurrences at the house recently, and, mm-hmm. and frankly, I've begun to fear for our, our lives and. I was hoping someone could help us. Oh, goodness. Uh, Felicia pulls out her notepad that she has on her basically at all times. It's where she was keeping the notes for the riddles and whatnot. Hmm? Can you can you tell me more? Does the stoop... Hold on, let me, look at the, let me look at the house again. Does it have any kind of spot to sit right there on the stoop? or? I mean, you could sit on the steps. Um, okay. She's. You do notice that she has just sort of a knitted shawl around her and she is trembling a bit oh okay um okay okay uh well this sounds interesting to me certainly um give me one moment it's very cold out here and you shouldn't be out here with such little on um and she pushes she kind of leans back against the door being like there were chairs in the library? library and a fire going so i say we bring her in Okay, okay. So please, please, come in and be welcome. And just, here, we'll talk more inside. How about that? Thank what is you your name, by the way? Polly. Uh, Polly Green. Oh. Polly Green. Well, Polly Green, my name is Felicia. For it's now. A, it's um, a pleasure to meet, pleasure to meet you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I please, like... here, come warm yourself. I've run down the hall to the kitchen to make a cup of tea and grab some, I don't know, there was probably something preserved and delicious in there. Yeah, there were some preserves on the shelves down in the fruit cellar. That's very, very gracious of you. Thank you. And Felicia, of course, of course. though um, Chester can no longer be seen, you can still feel him against the back of your neck. Aww. I'm going to have to put a for collar there or something so that I can keep petting him and nobody thinks it's weird. Anyway. Um, <laughs> um, okay. Um, well, please warm yourself. Thank you. Um, and she's kind of in like, not fussy hostess mode, but 
having taken on clients before, she, you know, kind of knows the, the setup, get them comfortable, get them, you know, feeling a little more comfortable. Do you need anything? Can I get you a glass of water or anything? She's very grateful for the warmth. She says, no, no, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm just hoping that you're who I hope you are. Um, I hope I am too, but please tell me more about, tell me more about uh, what, what, when you say occurrences, what are we, what are we talking about? Well, my grandmother and grandfather have lived in in our house uh, forever. And and my my mother grew up there as did I. Um, my, my parents passed away some time ago, so it's, it's just me and my daughter, um, living there now, taking care of, of grandmother. How old is my, your daughter? She's a year old. Ah, a, a, a babe? Hmm? Just... What, what did you say? Such a small, such a small wee thing. Yes, yes, and I'm very concerned for her. Um, my husband is, is a miner in Wales, and he works six month shifts there, and, and gets a leave uh, every six months and, and gets to come home for a week. And he, he's been, he's due to come home um, later in the week, but uh, this is difficult to talk about. Um, I know there's a cat on the left blocking your nuts. My, my grandfather was a very cruel man. Mm. Very unkind to my grand, to my grandmother. Hated my father and, and subsequently was always unkind to me and and passed that on to my daughter as well. He Ugh, had dreadful. a workshop of his own in, in the basement. He had walled it off himself um, from the rest of the basement and, and no one was allowed to go down there. About a month mm-hmm. ago, he, he was down there working on whatever it is that he does, and I'm, I'm ashamed to speak of this, but we heard we heard a great crash in the basement. Mm-hmm. The door was locked, and he never gave any of us the key. I, I couldn't get down there. I called for him and heard no reply, and I'm afraid it was preferable to simply wait and see what happened. Um, it doesn't sound like a very pleasant man. That seems perfectly reasonable. He was horrible, but it, I'm ashamed to have... Well... Oh, we've all left some miserable person where we probably responsibly shouldn't have. So, it's okay. He never came back. I see. With, within a few days, there was a terrible smell that lasted about a week. <sighs> um, Dreadful. Obviously, something terrible happened to him down there, but... Yes. The... Another week or so later, um, things started to happen around the house. Things would Mm. would disappear from where we'd left them. Then I began hearing footsteps after midnight. Um, Rooms would get terribly cold. And then one night, I woke to the sound of my daughter screaming inconsolably I found myself unable to move I fought through it and when I was able she was not in her room I found her in the kitchen seated on the cutting board with a large butcher knife beside her I'm terrified of of what might happen next. The occurrences just got worse and worse up to that point. And if you were of the same occupation as the folk who it said lived here in the past, I was hoping maybe you could help me. 
Felicia exchanges glances with um, the other folks around. Like she's she's ready to go. She's ready to. Um, she's ready to like jump into this, but uh, she realizes that she is but one one human. You know, um, I, it, it sounds first of all terrible, and I'm so sorry that you had to endure that. Um, and and your grandmother, does she have any, or is it your grandmother or your husband's? No, it's, it's my nana. Um, she's not well. Um, I'm taking care of her as best I can. Um, right. Right. Right now, uh, after that last, we've. The neighbor next door was kind enough to take us in temporarily. Um, Got it. Nana and, and my daughter Marigold are with her now. Um, okay. But that's good. Something needs to be done. I wholeheartedly agree. Um, all right. Um, would you would you just pardon us for a quick moment? You stay here. We're just going to um, convene just to the side here. Um, Thank you because this is our first encounter. Yes, but please, please just rest yourself. Your daughter Marigold sounds like she's safe with the neighbor right now. So, um, and she like kind of motions like, like to the rest of the party. Like, yes, also you, Dagmar. Um, so, so hi. Um, this young lady seems to be in some very spooky trouble. Um, I think we should help her. Do you, what, what do you think? Did Thoughts? you say they just left the body there and did nothing about it? She was unable to get they into the basement. Yeah, they couldn't get in to get the but body. She did not have a key. Okay. Has she called the constable or anything since? Or is the body just down there? Do you want to ask her? Yes, Absolutely. How long has it been? Also, happened about a month ago. A month ago, okay. A month. So you ask her that those questions? Yes. Even? Well, I, after I did nothing, I thought if I called the constable, I might get into terrible trouble. And I. That's a reasonable. We can't afford a, a locksmith to come and open the door or anything, so I just. I don't know where my husband went. He's been missing since well, such and such time. And I can't get into the basement. You, you must think it's terribly of me. Not at oh. all. Never. I I would I, say I, I would likely I, do the same thing I if I had been in your strange, situation. I can't describe to you how unkind he was. I would have done the same thing. Yeah, you're among friends here, for sure. I don't think any of us would have... Sometimes willingly... husbands... They come into their this own. This isn't the husband, this is the grandfather. Oh, even worse. Quite. The husband is away right now, right? Correct. The husband is, works in a coal the mine in Wales, is yes. in a coal mine in Wales, and then grandfather was terribly abusive. We heard a crash. Grandpa is no more. But technically, you haven't even laid eyes on Grandpa. You just know that you heard a crash and you haven't seen Grandpa come home in a while. I mean, was the man a drinker or anything? Well, there's no other exit through the basement and he never came back up. Fair, fair. But. Even if I may, mm -hmm. I once knew someone. Who was uh, attacked by a neck and couldn't move? Mm. Yes. Well, could be evasive. I mean, it sounds like there is definitely something going on um, that is interfering with their ability to live here and possibly threatening her child much less yeah, the rest of them really so... about Marigold. i'm just saying it's very easy to come up with a plausible story here 
true, but but it's possible. I I agree with her not calling the constable immediately because that's just going to raise more questions. And you know, um, Lee, oh, I forget. Yeah. Are there do people know yeah. Basin in in this world, or are we just like the weirdos who can see them? Uh, you're pretty much the weirdos who can see them. There may be others who okay, are okay. That's what I thought. Which you don't okay. know. Yeah. There's probably like oh. myths about them when they're like incredibly prolific. Oh, absolutely, they're right, folk, but... folk tales. Oh, yeah. yeah, but uh, just you thinking know about real. how, yeah. Um. All right, all right. Um, Doesn't take much. Yeah. So I think we're in agreement here that we are willing to help this girl. Is that is that correct? I never said okay. anything of the sort. I know, Dagmar. I know. Emmett, Mars. what do you think? If Eden wants to go, I will go. Thank you. We can't. We can't. We've known too many nice girls who have known too many mean men to let this one slide. Oh, I just worry about you. And I worry about I'll lots of people. Safe. Well, we're, we're protected pretty well here, I think. I think this house takes care of its own, as it were. I love um, you too, so Mars. she turns. Uh, oh, I said I love you too, Mars. <laughs> That's her way of saying I love you. Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she turns back to. Is it Polly or Pauline? Polly. Polly. Like okay. Polly Pocket. Exactly. Um, Polly, we are willing to help you, and we definitely are the kind of people that you think we are. Relief so, floods over her. We're we're somewhat fresh to this, but uh, having recently been installed here, um, what you're dealing with sounds horrible, and we are more than willing to help find out what's going on and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, uh, cause an end to this. I can't pay you much, but I will pay you what I can. It's okay. That's not important. Girl, no. this is on the house. No. Fucking being like that. No, I, I didn't come to you for charity. No, I... this is an act of pleasure for me. You're doing me a favor. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think Please I speak me, for. Let me pay you. A, most a... of us here. No. Oh. My... Polly, if it I would insist. make you feel better, Polly, you Thank can pay you. us. Thank you. But also she pulls worry out a, about the amount. A, a small coin purse and is able oh to gosh. like pull a couple of pound coins out. Perfect. I pocket them. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Okay. The, so the occurrences yes. tend to happen uh, at, at night. I don't know if you'd rather come during the day just to be safe to Maybe see what we you can find. Start by going over during the day. Yeah, I think I would say if you can you stay with your neighbor tonight? Yes, that that was the plan, yes. Okay, okay, marvelous. In that case, let us come to your place tomorrow and we'll check it out during the day. See if we can ascertain anything from what is there as it is, if that's all right with you. Yes, thank you so much. Okay. Um, shall I shall I leave you the key? Yes. 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 Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And she hands you the front door key. We also need your address. I'm, it's, of course, it's. She it's will number, collect it from her. <laughs> it's number three, Norrington, just down the street and across. Oh, oh okay. Excellent. Excellent. Um, we can get home in a hurry if we need to. Yes. Um, do, you, do you need to. Do you want to take anything with you back to to your neighbor's house. Can we offer you anything? No, no, thank you. Our, our next door neighbor is, is, is quite kind. Okay, okay. I just want to but make sure you're taken care of for now. We don't want to impose on her more than we need to. Fair. Well, we're going to do our best to find out what's happening thank you. when we go over there tomorrow. She's just... Because no one deserves this. Overflowing with gratitude. Oh, bless her heart. I know. I feel so bad for her. <laughs> And she heads back off to home. What sort of thing might you think that you're dealing with here? 
somebody's angry dead grandpa. Well, Emmett, looks like your uh, area of expertise and the searches you've done in this library already are already ready to be put to work here. This sounds like... This sounds like the Telltale I mean, Hot. The what? Oh, yeah. The Telltale Hot. A... Yeah, the story of the Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, and kills an a little bit. Man and buries him underneath his floorboards and goes mad with the guilt. See, he hears that go bump, 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 I don't think bump. this is quite and like that. This is his crime, so the yes. and we take him away. Yes, it... yes, I don't. We'll go with the map, but that's the synopsis. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, oh, I know that one, you nerd. <laughs> Um, um, okay. All right. Well, um, I'm just saying I have a perfectly good set of cards if we want to start with some insight from home. I mean, we've got a key to the house. This is that what we're doing then. You, you, it's a spirit. Sorry. Yeah, I was going to say this sounds full on ghost town. Yeah. To me. Population dickbag. Um, yes, exactly. It's a very important distinction to make. So you assume um, that you're dealing with something undead here. It could be. Know about... That's why I need to know more about. So, so. Can I try to find a book that talks about? Please do. I'd point? love to know more mm -hmm. about anything with malevolent spirits. Is anybody helping you? I can. I mean, I, I can, can help. peruse just. As well as the uh, other guy. Is Dagmar helping or is Dagmar? Dagmar's probably Dagmaring. Dagmaring, yeah. Dagmar is going to go Dagmar. Dagmaring. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Shut <laughs> it. Dagmar. Uh, verb. <laughs> to beat someone about the head and shoulders with a okay. purse. All right. So uh, who's helping me? How many helps am I getting? I'm helping. How many helps? Dagmar, Dagmar will help here. if Eden asks Dagmar to help. Dagmar, can you help us out? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then it's another three bonus dice. Okay, so I'm going to be rolling five bonus dice for my bookworm. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh successes. Amount it's... of dices. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. <laughs> so a lot. many dices. <clears throat> and two successes. Mm hmm. Um, so yes, you find a, uh, a rather hefty volume um, dealing with Vason of the Undead Variety. Um, roll me just a plain d6. Sure. Uh, 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 it's a five. Okay, great. It's a five. Mom, um, you find a number five. of entries um, which you sort of go through and you can uh, try to see if any of these kind of line up with, with what you've been told. Uh, there's an entry about ghosts. Mm -hmm. Ghosts are the spirits of dead people who have not found peace in death because of some need or desire that must first be met. They are often bound to a certain place. It could be where they died, a crime scene, or their old home. The only way to banish a ghost is to find out what is keeping them from passing on and help them resolve whatever unfinished business they may have. The next entry is about ghouls. Ghouls are evil spirits inhabiting the bodies of dead people. They live in dark places, often confined to the gravesite of their host, waiting patiently for the unwary to release them. They are murderous, vengeful beings which desire only to feast on the flesh of the living. They can be killed by destroying the brain or removing the head of their host body, which releases the spirit to seek another host. Banishing the spirit requires an exorcism while it remains in the body. Okay. Another entry is Mare, M-A-R-E, like a female horse, a Mare. What do you think? Mares are women who unknowingly shapeshift into nightmarish basin. The victims are possessed by deceased, unmarried women who seek revenge on the living or long to see a beloved in the afterlife. There is also talk of a curse passed down from the mother to relieve the pain of childbirth through black magic. The Mare suffers from obsessive thoughts and can be kept away from one's home by placing hair in a Bible, spreading flax seeds around the bed, or making her count something until daybreak. But the curse can only be broken by someone who loudly declares that she is a mare just as she is becoming human again. 
and oh, one sorry. one more entry catches your eye. It is a revenant. A revenant is the undead spirit of an evil human, full of hatred for mankind and an urge to frighten, harm, and kill. Usually it wants to torment its family or other people it used to loathe when it was still human. Revenants are usually invisible, but can appear as monstrous figures with sharp teeth and claws. Sometimes they are black as night and several meters tall. They generally make their lair in a tree, a pile of rocks, or a ruin near the place of their death, where they must stay until nightfall. A revenant cannot pass a Christian symbol painted with tar or harm a person wearing a symbol of faith. Exposure to daylight will render a revenant unable to manifest for a number of days, but if it is not then banished, it will return with a vengeance. It can be banished using the remains of its human corpse. If it was not buried in a graveyard, the body must be carried across a graveyard wall rather than through the gate, and burning it in consecrated ground, and, and burying it in consecrated ground with a cross on the casket. If the body has already been buried in a graveyard, it must be dug up again, carried across the wall three times, and reburied with a cross and the shovels with which the grave was dug. Another way is to burn the dead body. Well, I think it sounds like that uh, the last one sounds like what be we're the dealing easiest. with here. Thoughts? Yeah, so so that was like burning the dead body was a s completely separate way of dealing with it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, well, um, most likely it's the first or the last one. Probably not the mayor or the ghoul, considering she hasn't seen anything. Um, but yes, the revenant sounds quite alarmingly similar to what she was describing. Quite. So we should definitely make sure we have uh, preparations. Um, as the text here describes, uh, religious symbols covered in tar, yes, and painted with tar. And any 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 Christian symbols you might carry on yourselves, or any symbol of faith, yes. So, is it reasonable to say that they can only pass through the door, or can they pass through the floor? Is that something we would... It made no reference to that. Hmm. It only said it could go invisible. But when it does appear, it appears quite monstrous. Hmm. Ghoulish fangs, claws, that sort. Um, and daylight like... can render it um, unable to perform for a certain period of time. But then it must yes. be finished. So if we act, I don't know how much we can take advantage of the daylight in inside the house, but if we have to run, running outside is a get out of harm's card. Mm. Wonder, hmm? uh, Whitby. Oh, yes, ma'am. Hello, welcome back. Um, I'm just curious, uh, does Shackleton ever leave the grounds? Uh, no, no, Shackleton uh, is tied to the house, I'm afraid. Oh, okay. No, no worries, no worries at all. Um, interesting, interesting. And it's, and it's Shackleford. Oh, Shackleford, excuse Shackle me. Shackleford, yes. Shackleford. It's a very good Just word. like Rusty Shackleford. Only I Thank said you. It like this. Amara, that is definitely going to help me remember that. <laughs> and I don't mean that facetiously, I mean that. No, for real. I know. <laughs> That's how I've been remembering it. <sighs> okay. Um, all right. Well, um, yes. So, Whitby, it sounds like we have just. The previous tenants of this house. Did they take on um, helping with a uh, troublesome vason? Oh, yes, indeed, ma'am. That's what the society did. Right, right, of course. I forgot that we are part of a society now. Um, uh, in which case, should we... Is there anything else that... Do they have... Remind me, you may have gone over this, but I've sadly forgotten... Are there any journals or diaries or anything that the previous society members have left behind? Any journals or recordings of their work? Uh, not that I'm aware of, Mum, but of course they wouldn't have told okay. me such. 
I mean, if it was here, it would probably be in the library, but I don't know. Fair. Uh, uh, Emmett, did you come across any journals of any kind that weren't just uh, that weren't published? Of, nothing specifically autobiographical, if, but there's a lot of documentation. I mean, even just this text here, is, this one is specifically for dealing with the the deceased that are no longer deceased. Right, right. The unliving. So, um, it is quite <laughs> thorough. I will I will let you know if I come across anything that's more of a first-hand recollection, a journal, a diary, so on. But, um, yes, yes, that sounds that sounds great. Um, cool. Well, this sounds like we've got the workings of a plan. Um, any other? So, so it sounds like we might need to do a little bit of shopping and uh, defense acquisition. Whitby, was it? Oh, yes, sir. Is there still a store of supplies used for vason dealing? Like uh, this, this text you have mentioned, uh, tar. Is that something we have on site? Or is that something we'd have to go out to find? Uh, it might be possible it's some somewhere in the basement, sir. Okay. To the basement! Again, looking for tar. Exactly. Yeah. Well, also okay. just like supplies that were left behind for this purpose. Like, I don't know. I'm just curious. Because there are like a whole. There don't seem to be. You haven't really garlic. come across much. I mean, there's salt. Okay. Uh, salt could be of use. But Salt's there isn't like a there isn't like a cabinet of demon fighting gear or anything. Yeah. <laughs> We, we don't can't pull have, the like, giant a giant lever and everything flips around. Much more <laughs> mundane. Right? Yes, that's actually up to you to stock the place that way going forward. Well, it definitely sounds like some shopping's in order. Yay! <laughs> Shopping episode! <laughs> Woo! Oh, no. Lee, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do this. Sorry. <laughs> Lee loves it. <laughs> Look I mean, at him, he's so excited. He's just this, trembling. This Not as excited as John is. Episodes. I think John's even more excited about the prospect of another shopping episode. Okay, uh, shopping I was going to go too. buy some groceries at the market tomorrow. I can pick up some tar. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> let's make a list. Let, let, let's, okay. Let's a list. make a coherent list of the things we might need. And What's the highest make... resource score among you? Uh, oh. Uh, two. Resources. Two. Where are Give resources? Me is that under skills or something it's else? It's under attributes near the top. On... It's like its own separate thing. I only yeah. have a one. Two. Yeah. You're not going to be able to buy a whole lot. That's fine. That's fine. We just need to. We just need tar. Yeah, we just need a couple other. Damn tar. Uh, two what is carnation. Poor. You live very simply. Most days there is food on the table, but far too little. Yeah. You might own a change of clothes and a few possessions. Oh, speaking of clothes, Dagmar's gonna go upstairs and is going to make a cute little cat pouch for the bones. Hell yeah, cat pouch. She's gonna make it cat-shaped. Or try to. Oh my gosh. Well, don't... Dagmar, please, by all means, like, practicality and, and sturdiness is the key here. So, don't feel like you need to go, um... She didn't overboard. tell you what she was doing. She just went upstairs. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. Just, just wanted to put that out there. Just... Guys, Dagmar does have... what she feels like doing. Dagmar's gonna yeah. dag. Dagmar's yeah. gonna dag, you know? So I'm really digging this dag. Goes, there, there isn't a whole lot of shopping that you you need to do and, and or able yeah. to do, really. But um... I'm gonna look in the shed. Is there any tar in the shed? What? Where does one even buy tar? I'm like, I've never had to buy. I know there's tar pits. It would be, it would be like a roughing maintenance type of supply. It's Typically, not something that I people don't probably have commonly laying around the house, though. I think it isn't it flammable. Tar is flammable in the right conditions. But it does burn. Not... It's 
recommend it as a heat source. Um, I'm gonna, in this moment, while everybody's kind of, like, scattering and gathering, um, I'm gonna go look out in the... and and daggering. Um, I'm gonna go look out in the garden to see if there is anything of note or use there, because you never know what people save. It's weird. Um, very true. Let's have you make an investigation test. Here we go. Pray for me. How uh, can I help? Would you like to help? I'll I'll take anybody's help. I'll help. I'll, get a I'll, I'll, I'll go out with her. Whoa. Okay. Do I have to do anything else, or do I just yeah. roll? Two bonus die. So you click yeah. investigation, and then you'll mm-hmm. put two in the field. Put two in the modifier field. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell yeah. Thanks, ladies. Two out of nine dice. Unexpectedly, you find a small tin of fairly solidified tar. Hey. Use it like chalk or something. Just rub it up there. You can heat it up. We can heat it up. It's just cold because it's outside. So, What's all right. Hey. Hmm? What's the season? It's uh, late October. Yeah, so it's going to so be cold. It's chilly. Yeah, yeah. It's solid. It's solid when it's cold. But um, hmm. all right. And what else did we need? Oh, holy symbols. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Holy symbols, including wearable holy symbols. Um, and we're I, all I, poor, so can't just go buy jewelry. And that can count Denmark. as any sort of a symbol that would mean something to you, you know. Mm-hmm. It doesn't Does have it count to be if it's stitched into fabric? Well, um, it could just be a simple wooden cross. Something that you're wearing. Yeah. We can build Guys, a wooden cross. I, can get I two mean, sticks. a cross is a simple Guys. symbol, yeah. Yeah. We could sew it into the clothing. We could. And that's could. literally just needle and thread and a little bit of time that we can put. Does it have to be on display? Would that be something I would have known from the text? So we said it cannot harm a person wearing a symbol of faith. Okay. Very good, very good. All right, all right. Sounds like we got we got some things going on. So yeah, why don't we take the time to prep eat our dinner one last time um (laughs) (laughs) but a final dinner a final dinner midnight snack but like get ready and everything for the day tomorrow Mm -hmm. and investigate during the day so we can get a feel of the house and everything while it's still light i am realizing that these sessions are never going to be neat one shots I was no. thinking, like, this is the start of a one shot now, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> I thought this wasn't a one shot. If yeah. I, I thought this was just an exploratory, yeah. where we play, right? But I'm seeing, I'm seeing that every every session is supposed to be a self contained sort of thing. But these well, are going to these are going to bleed over, no question. Oops. <laughs> no, I can it's try not. To play it's not a complaint. It's not a complaint. Okay. I love it. I'm just saying. <laughs> Please forgive us. I mean, Lee. you're indulging am... me with a talking cat, so I can't be mad at any of this. <laughs> I mean, no, I was I'm having not mad at all. I'm I so love I it. Mad. I just thought, you know, it'd be cool for you guys yeah. if everything got wrapped up every time, so you don't have to, you don't get into no, this, a situation this where you we finish the house, and then we like have six a months on a cruise time. ship, you know? Yeah. Gosh, are you okay? Yeah. No, okay, I love so... a six-month cruise. I know. So you guys um, are gonna are gonna prep that you found the star yeah. yep. and you're going to yep. prep some some sort of holy symbols or something for you all to wear, yep. and then in the morning you're going to go investigate the house. Yes, yep. and I want to yes. in the morning stop by when she's at the neighbor's house and tell her to take time to stitch holy symbols into her clothes and the baby's oh. clothes. Very nice. Mm, and the grandma's clothes. Yeah, have them prepared and safe on the off chance that something happens because we don't need a baby on a cutting board. Okay. Correct. Fair enough. So that can be taken care of. Um, 
when you get to their house, were you going to like explore the house a little bit, or were you going to head straight for the basement and try to unlock? The I want to explore first. I want to see yeah. if there's signs of anything, because you want to rule out to begin with that it's been an intruder or something. Okay. So okay. Yeah. So we're gonna wrap here then. This all sounds okay. like a next session thing. Oh, you know. for sure. Yeah. Oh, one hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. Cool. This is our first one shot dealing with the revenant. <laughs> yes. The telltale revenant. <laughs> nice. I like that. Okay, so you all head off to your rooms for the evening then, we'll say. And mm -hmm. uh work on preparing your yourselves for the next day. Dagmar has fallen asleep so late. I love Dagmar so much. Aww. My whole life. How often does Dagmar put a needle through her fingers? Never. Never? Okay. Not a lot. I saw my mamma fall asleep and hold on to her needle multiple times for hours at a time. I know it's possible. No, but it's also just like sometimes people just put the needle through their finger and like don't even realize it. Oh, jeez. Right? So I'm just like wondering if Dagmar is like the person who like put the thread her through her finger and would like notice it until like <laughs> Dagmar's nope. got sewing old lady calluses so we're not going to yes. do any experience points tonight then since since All this right. hasn't wrapped we'll make that the next time okay. Um, okay. and then we will at the end of that adventure we will prep going into um, the adventure that you got the letter about nice right. wait were we yeah. supposed to go to this lady's house tonight well, the, the whole cat thing took longer than I expected. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Don't be sorry. I let. I, I mean, it was struggled fun. with it. <laughs> was it fun? Did you guys have fun with it? Yes. Okay, well, that's what matters. It was hard. I wasn't expecting it to be a library. Yeah, I didn't think. I didn't know. How, I, I didn't know. So. Uh, yeah. No, that's okay. That's okay. Just uh, I hope Chester was satisfied with the toying, and now we can move on. No. Yeah. That. No. You all did great. I love the character development. The from, in, yeah. from Riddle. He's awesome. He is. He is very great, and Good. nothing can ever happen to him. I'm gonna leave so many treats. So many <laughs> treats. <laughs> I now have a little, like, Bella. Pop might, like, turn into your pet or something. You keep leaving her stuff. <laughs> yeah, awesome. we're just gonna spoil the shit out of every corpor like, incorporeal being. I am in a cuddle house, hobo. I am a cuddle <laughs> hobo in every game. It's indisputable. So, tonight was our Wednesday game on a Monday. Um, yes. and our next session is DIA next Should Monday. Yeah. Session 105. Yeah, that's our Christmas session. Ooh. Our Christmas session mm. and pretty well, close to the end the of the module, sweater. right? Yeah. You guys are talking about your other game, right? Yes, yes. the one that yeah. I normally okay. play on Monday. And I don't... Did we talk about playing on the 26th? We or did. No? We, we tentatively agreed to it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So hopefully we can actually, I don't know, maybe we might finish it before the year ends. Uh, I would love that. I don't know. It's really hard to say with the way we play, but. I will fight to retain every spoon possible Sunday so that I'm prepared for Monday because I am hosting Christmas. Oh, I was like, what does that have to do with DIA? Did I like miss something? I'm the grown up this year again. It's my fifth year hosting Christmas. So. Well, I had fun tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. <laughs> and um, I did. We yes. will I love you guys. It was great. Basin again at some point. We'll figure out when. Yes. Okay. Thanks, See everybody. Good night. Bye, Internet. Bye, Internet.